What's up, chat? You guys, we got a special stream. Also, hey, I'm back. It's, <laughs> I'm back. After uh, Twitch plays Pokemon, I went into a two week long comatose, maybe three. I have not done anything productive in the past. I, I wrote a script. I wrote a 12 page script for Twitch plays Pokemon. You want to see this shit? It's annotated. Oh my God. Um, let me see. Yeah, look at this. This is a script. This is a script covering everything we did. Oh, it's not ending, is it? Oh, there it is. So we got a banger video coming soon. It's just that required all of my time. Yeah, it's it's a novel. <laughs> all right. So and look, it's fucking annotated. I got people to comment on it. Here's all tribe leaving some helpful advice. So, yeah, that's done. And now zero productivity. Fuck you. I got stuff done, actually. Uh, you're going to raise small in for heart gold. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Bob better be the, main, be the main character. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Don't worry. Lots of Bob praise there. Um, yeah, so uh, what are we doing today? That's such a good question. Nobody asked, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, I saw a Minecraft video that had like 50 billion views, and I thought I would like 50 billion views. So... <laughs> Um, I actually had this idea a long time ago, but I was like, no one's gonna watch that. I was wrong. Uh, so you guys know Sunshine Speedrunning? There's a top speedrunner from back back when named Bouncy Boy, uh, homie of mine. Love that dude. Um, he did Prima Percent. He beat all through Sunshine, but only while reading a book and following everything that they said. And I was like, that's so smart. If only I was talented at games. Little did I know, didn't have to be. So. What we're gonna be doing today is playing Pokemon with this green screen guidebook. So uh, I kind of skimmed through it, right? So I got, got, got an idea. We're only going to follow everything that this says. No free balling. We're gonna play the game exactly, exactly as the guidebook tells us. So first things first. <laughs> I'd like to talk about the funnier one. Our team has already been picked out. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna show part of this. Our team is Sceptile, Azumarill, Sableye, Mendectrix, Skarmory, Heracross. They showed me this is an example of an effective team. And uh, what this means, wait, wait, is that all it has a diverse type coverage uh yeah we're missing a few types and i wouldn't say gen 3 sableye is very strong but uh what's really funny to me is that it shows the ineffective team and if you look carefully it's fucking bananas uh you can have a gut swallow a speed boost ninjask and then just intimidate Gyarados. And then you also have Crobat, Salamence, and a Natu, or Zatu to set like light screen and reflect. <laughs> like, this ineffective team is ridiculous. I, they're just saying, oh, it's all flying types, so it's bad. But like, it's just, it's probably the best monotype team you could come up with. So, uh, yeah. Uh, they, despite that, <laughs> Despite having Swellow, Ninjas, Gyarados, Crobat, Zatu, Salamence, and that team sucks, it gets rocked by Electric. It does. Uh, Salamence resists it, but like, it's really scared of Rock more so than it is Electric. Uh, I guess Gyarados is scared of Electric, but Rock is strong against everything here, and it's quad against Ninjas. But yeah, so this is pretty funny. Um, this is just a sample team but I think it would be best to run their effective team. So our starter has already been picked out, but I am going to, uh, I've already gone through this, don't worry. It just teaches you how to play the game and everything. It says that uh, don't evolve Torchkin to Kabuskin because then it looks like a cock. It says that right here. Um, and then 
We keep going. I, I already read through all of this. Do not worry. It does spoil who the champion is in this game. There are some spoilers here, so I'm not going to show you guys because I want you to enjoy the game as it's uh, meant to be played. Exactly as it's meant to be played. Who's going to tell Alpha that someone's already done it? I don't care. I had this idea and then I found out someone else did it, but I want to do it anyways. So here we are. All right. What's really endearing is that there's a little check <laughs> it's all gonna be green screen because it's like, emerald but there's a little checklist from everything you can do in here and someone else has filled it out but they didn't get a good rod and they stopped at mount pyre uh i think they got scared which is my head cannon okay and now we are formally starting pokemon emerald all right well i'm gonna here i'm gonna put this down right here and i will refer to it as as i need it Okay, so first things first. Uh, I'll, I'll just read it to you, chat. Also, I am blocking some of the screen, but honestly, like, who cares? <laughs> let me do, let me, oh, no, 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 no. Let me do this. I'll do, I'll do this. I'll, I'll squeeze it just a little bit. All right. There we go. That's it. I'm, I'm going to be blocking, but who cares? This is what I do. So you, no, chat, you are not playing this one, unfortunately. Okay, get off the screen, don't be mean. Do we have any mods to ban people who are being a little bit mean? Alpha, why didn't you play Alpha Sapphire? Because I, I want to play the original Gen 3. How can you spoil a 10 year old game? Uh, because. <laughs> um, okay, so this, uh, what it's saying is it actually does not give us any advice for naming our character which uh is pretty rough honestly i feel like a lot of people could get stuck here um i don't really know what to do yet this doesn't help us really they don't show anything on this uh uh step one your new home the Pokemon Movers hustle and bustle about, unloading the last of your belongings. Talk to your mom. No, no, it does not tell us how to name ourselves. Is this where the run ends? Okay. What? It doesn't. It doesn't tell us what to do. I'm just gonna. I'm panicking. <laughs> Who? Okay. You know what? Do they, do they have a trainer? I'm gonna look for an ID in here. They have to have an ID somewhere. I'm just like, I just need advice on what to name my character. Walker? It, it says right here, it has shows like a Pokemon and it says the trainer ID is, is, is a boy named Walker. So I guess if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Okay, so now we go back. Walker, Hoenn, Ranger. Okay. Um, it's still teaching me how to play the game. I kind of know. Okay, and now our walkthrough starts. I think. Maybe. Man's pulled out the guide. Man, I got the guide. All right. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Will do. All right. So, our new home. Uh, go upstairs, set your clock as your mom's requested. Turn on your PC and log in the item store to withdraw a potion. Look at that. Did you know that? Did you know that we can get a potion in the PC? Oh my God, because it's a walkthrough. That's why his name's... <sighs> okay, I get it. I hate that. I hate that I went through with it now. Oh. Okay. Let's get the let's get the potion, guys. Oh, Walker, it's walk through. We're we're the start of a very very long run. Uh, I thought this was going to be like a third party thing, but this was apparently the official guide from Nintendo Power. Okay, so let's set the clock. Um, it is seven forty four. PM. So let's get with it. 
It did not say mash A. It said set the clock. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So it's like 44. I'm going to wait. Oh, it's 45 now. Okay. We're in it. I think that was right. Walker, how do you like your new room? Uh, do, I, do I know how much I like it yet? Um, okay. Uh, if you speak to your mom after getting the Pokedex, she'll give you running shoes. Speak to her again after defeating dad, and she'll give you the amulet coin. Huh. Return to home after you become Pokemon League champion. That's down the road. Okay. 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 So right now, we got to go to the PC, though. We got to. Uh, item storage, withdraw, potion. All right. <laughs> Wait, you face dad? Spoiler? Yeah, they put so many spoilers in this. Like the fifth gym leader is your dad, by the way, and you come back. They, they tell me. I know it's it doesn't change a lot, but it matters to me. How can we get running shoes? We're Walker. That's that's probably in the book, if I can be completely honest. Okay, so uh, your rival and neighbor will be the opposite gender from your character. Stop by and introduce yourself. All right, that's what that's what it says. Um, and then after we met our neighbor, walk north to Route 101. Birch was out doing some field study when a wild Pokemon attacked him. He needs help. Choose one of the three Pokemon inside Professor Birch's satchel to battle the wild Pokemon. The Pokemon you choose will become your first, so choose carefully. All right, can we just touch this and she comes in? Yep, there we go. <sighs> yeah, so... I'm gonna bend this a lot. I'm gonna leave this demolished by the time I'm done. Okay, so after we do this, we go Professor Birch. And then at the lab... Oh, we have to go fight our rival again. Can we talk about how they gave us an effective team? And it kind of sucks. And then they said, look how bad this other team is. They're all flying types. And like half of them are insane. Like Gyarados, Salamence, Crobat, all insane mons. And then Ninjask, Ninjask, Zatu, and Swellow all have like their uses. Like you can make those mons work. They're not worthless. So... That's insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, this was in the guidebook. Okay, I actually know what to do here. Um, we have to choose one of the three Pokemon inside his sash. It's right there. It's right there. This is easy. This is so easy, actually. I I, I got this. I got this. Um, so if you go back to, uh, what is it? It is page 11 in the guidebook. It picks your team out for you. Well, it says this is an example of an effective team. And Sceptile is on it. So we are going to go with Trico. It's what the guidebook says. Using that bad team should be in a different video. That would be good to put that in a different video. Actually, it's just good. So like we would win. It's just a mono flying time. So. Oh, oh no, no it, just, it doesn't give us any advice for this battle. It just trusts that we know. Actually, it gave us 32 pages worth of learning how to battle. So I'm gonna just assume that I can battle as I want. So basically you're gonna need to level grind, bag on. No, I don't have I don't have bag on, on my team. I have the sample effective team, which is Septile. Uh, I, sh I should keep track of it. It's Septile, Azumarill, Sableye, Manectric, Skarmory, Heracross. And I think those are spread out pretty well. So you start with uh, Trico in the Septile, obviously. Uh, you get Sableye in the cave outside the second gym. Azumarill... I don't completely remember where Azumarill is, but isn't it in the path where you, uh... Like, right outside the breeder? Is that right? And then Heracross is in the Safari Zone, and he's pretty rare, I, if, if I'm correct. I think he's in the Safari Zone. Skarmory is in the Ashy Path, where you get Spinda. Manectric is everywhere. We can catch a Electric wherever. Meryl is before the forest. Ah, okay, so I was wrong. Well, you learn something new every day. So Azumarill is on like, a Meryl is the path, is, is on the beach after Daz City. That's good. Uh, hopefully, I think we try to catch huge power Azumarill. Actually, 
Huge power isn't that effective for Azumarill in this because there's no like physical special split. You can get Meryl behind the berry house. Do you know that you need to remake your Pokemon tier list to put Hoppip at the start? I do know that actually, and I, I fully plan on making that tier list yearly. So I'll I'll come back to it next year, and Bobby will be much higher. Okay, Walker received the Trico. Uh oh, do we do we give it a name? Is there anything on nicknaming here? Uh oh. Um, um, um it gives us natures. Pokemon typings, Pokemon battles. Uh-oh, does it not mention anything about nicknaming? It has boy versus girl, which is interesting. Tells me how the Game Boy SP works. Uh, you can charge it, by the way. Catching Pokemon. Um. Uh-oh. No. No, it says nothing about nicknaming your Pokemon. I, I think they just want us to play by the books, which is just naming him Sceptile. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing in here about... Uh... Huh, interesting. Well, no nickname. It's, it's what the guy says. Sorry. All right, so now... After you defeat... Oh, wait. No, no. Whoa, whoa. We have to go defeat our rival on Route 103. Do I have to... Yep. Okay. Now I got to look at the next page. Okay. Um. So we got to make it to Old Dale. It does not tell me anything about this route, actually. Um. It could be scary grass. This guidebook actually kind of sucks. It doesn't even tell me what Pokemon are in this grass. Does the guide say anything about catching a shiny? No, actually. No, I actually did not. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, let, let, let me read this again. Uh, potion promotion. Talk to the enthusiastic Pokemon assistant outside the small house. She'll give you a free potion. In okay, awesome. Okay. Um... A battle? What do I do? Just YouTuber face. Pochiana did what? If you catch a shiny, do you have to reset? The game just crashes if you catch a shiny. It's not prepared for that. I hope it tells me like some some tick. Wait. Um. Okay. No, I'm just reading. It's, it's, a, it's a lot to consume here. Uh, potion promotion. Talk to the enthusiastic Pokemon assistant outside the small house. Blah blah blah. Um, oh, it it does not want me to stock up on anything just yet. It wants me to wait until after we uh, get Pokeballs. Rare 102 is being blocked by a man who's sketching what he believes to be rare Pokemon tracks. Ooh, what could that be? Oh, that's. Oh, okay, got it. You probably saw a Surskit or something. Um, Pokemon Center, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I do know what that is. Then the rival battle. Since we chose Trico, he's going to have Torchic. I don't think I have to read every single thing to you guys. Because right now, we're just kind of grinding. So, hey chat. How's it going? How's it been lately? I've just kind of been doing me, and I've just, I've just been in a coma. Hypothetically, for the past like three weeks. Huh. What other guidebooks do you own? I actually purchased multiple Pokemon guidebooks because I just wanted to make sure I could get the funniest one. I wanted to find one that chose the team for me. So, here we are. Why are you on Twitch? If I can be completely honest, um, I did. I forgot that I was streaming on Twitch. Uh, I meant to stream on YouTube, but here we are. I, I just forgot that when I clicked start stream, the last thing I did was stream on Twitch. And we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Here we are. I thought you were visiting family. I did actually. I went back. To, I went to Oklahoma, visited my family, and also I mainly went to Oklahoma because my best friend from high school 
uh, had a wedding. Not a wedding, his wedding, the wedding. <laughs> and yeah. That's, that's what I did. And it was a fine time. It was honestly kind of bizarre, right? So I go to this wedding and I, I kind of, I don't know what it is. I feel like, okay, chat, I don't want this to be sound like depressing, like, oh, woe is me kind of thing. Cause I'm going to sound like a little prissy bitch for one second. And you guys just got to let, let, let me let it out. So, oh, that's not very good. The, the guidebook doesn't have anything for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been not paying attention. Um, so, yeah, I'm from Oklahoma. Woo. And so, I have not, like, grown as a channel that, like, relatively to, like, previous years, not as much. Because, you know, last year was kind of, like, mentally hard on me, blah, blah, blah. I uploaded, like, 10% of what I normally do. Blah, 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 whatever. So, I just didn't do much last year. So, it makes sense for me to, like, not as grown as much. But, so, I, I feel like people don't, like, I, I shouldn't, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is I feel like I sh shouldn't be as recognized as I am. Because, like, I went to Disneyland... <laughs> like a week ago and I have never been recognized more and it was bizarre like I is the content's been good this year thank you yeah it's been high quality I'm happy with it blah 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 but like it's just it's just been weird it's just I got really recognized like tons and tons of times normally it doesn't happen like that maybe it's the hair maybe I think it is but um it's just crazy so I went to this friends is that imposter syndrome uh i think there's n n no i i think there's like i've definitely felt imposter syndrome -y before but i don't think this is like a very imposter syndrome one it's more of like a ah, i haven't done much lately <laughs> like i don't think it's a it, it's not an unhealthy thing but what's fucked is that i went to the middle of bumfuck nowhere oklahoma for a wedding and had multiple people recognize me. And it's getting weird. It's straight up bizarre. Like, I'm not built for this. I like going out and doing things. And, you know. There's over 2.5 billion subs and is verified on Twitter. Wow, people recognize me. That's what I meant. I was like, let me be a little bitch for a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I didn't expect it. I, I think it's strange when people in the real life like, I don't fucking know you guys. Your number's on a screen to me. So, like, when that manifests into a real human form, it's bizarre, you know? Like, you guys recognizing me, you see me. I don't see you, so it's, like, it's weird. It's it's weird whenever whenever you guys take physical form. So it's, it's strange. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Ugh. Oh, that did nothing. Holy shit. I think we still win, though. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Unless they crit here. Did you think they were going to crit here? Because I did. As soon as I said it out in the world, I was like, we lose this. We lose this every time. I promise if I ever recognize you in personal treat like a stranger. No, you don't have to. Like, come up, say hi, take a picture, have awkward small talk, whatever you want. It's it's just, it's a bizarre phenomenon that I don't think I'll ever get used to. It's just strange to me. Because I, I think of myself as like, I just fucking sit in my bedroom and make funny videos and that's it. So it's just like, I kind of forget that people watch them, you know? Hmm. All right. And after that, oh, oh, oh my, wait, no, I'm not there yet. It's trying to tell me how to go right. So now we go back to a little route and we go talk to, we go back to the lab again. <laughs> not again. Oh, 
<laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All of Chad pops off for that one. We messed up. <laughs> I think I, just seeing chat blow up right here is so funny to me. Uh oh, back to the lab again. Oh no. Here, Walker, I order this for your research. Oh, we get the Pokédex. Cool. Uh, yeah, so now we get Pokeballs, which it says right there. Uh, it says right here. And now what do we got to do? We got to start heading towards Petalburg. Interesting. And we get five Pokeballs here. And we're going to use zero of them. I think what's funny is like I can see like who's the first time chatter and that copy pasta brought out so many first time chatters. They're like, shit. <laughs> there was like my, my time has come. All right. So we're going back to Petalburg or no, we're going to Petalburg for the first time. We have a few trainer battles. Uh, I will say these are honestly uh, not... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's book is not very in-depth. It just says, Youngster Calvin is here. And I have zero information. Like, who the fuck is Calvin? Don't know. Wait, what the hell is Altering Cave? I just learned about that on, page, on Route 103. Uh, you can enter this cave once you're the Pokemon League champion, but you may find nothing. What the hell is that? I've never seen this cave before. But it has like a little le little legendary Pokemon step up there. What What's in there? I don't know. It's for events, but was never used. Oh. Weird. <laughs> it was unused for events that were never released? I mean, it does say you can enter this cave but you may find nothing. It gives you hope that something's gonna be in there, but no, okay, I guess nothing is. It was planned to use e-reader cards. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> okay. We, we have conquered Route 101, and now we're going to embark on Route 102. Um, so f what it, it has, Youngster Calvin, a potion, which I found, and Orin and Peacha Berries. Um, number five, Berry Trees. An Orin Berry Tree and pear, Peacha will blah, 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 blah. Um, but don't for... Okay. Pick the berries, but don't forget to replant one of each so the trees will regrow. You're smart. 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 I see what they're going for. Okay. Let's approach Youngster Calvin. Hello. Walker gives me real, like, car salesman vibes, you know? Ugh. Walker plays by the books, literally. He sure does. Alright. My hair's got a lot of swoop. I usually like my forehead to show, but not... Oh, wait. Hold up. No, I think... Should I have healed? Did, oh, did we not heal after the, the fight with, with Mei? I assume we would have. But I think it's fine. I thought he had a Zigzagoon. Is that Ruby Sapphire? Trico is one of the two grass starters I like. Bro, Gym 3, all three starters are bangers. Like, they do not have a, a single... <laughs> wait. Wait, okay, I just noticed something. There are three trainers on this route, but it only highlights Youngster Calvin. So I guess he's the only one we're gonna fight. <laughs> All right, let's go back. 
11 barriers still a mod ayo i'll be real do not recognize your name but if you're still a mod i trusted you at one point so enjoy <laughs> I guess it only tells us like, I know the others are optional, but I'm just surprised that like, they don't even give us a name. They're just not as strong as Calvin, I think is what they're trying to tell me. Yeah, Gen 3 got banger designs. All right. So yeah, this trainer, it tells us how to avoid them, which is right here. Figgy said, I have, I have super follow on Twitter. Can I have mod? Uh, you know what? Sure. Uh, mod figgies. Don't let me down, figgies. Price of mod. You know what's fucked up? You actually can't. So on YouTube, you can make people pay for mod, but on Twitch, that is against TOS. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, that that is the biggest thing that YouTube has over Twitch, and nobody's talking about it. <laughs> Which is really funny. <laughs> so now I just got to give the mods out for funny reasons. <laughs> Common Twitch L. Yeah. Yeah, also, Fires, I registered your name. I read it several times. But sup, man. Also, you know how I, I said that... uh. I got recognized a shit ton at Disneyland and it was like bizarre. Uh, I saw one of the people in chat. I, I ignored it selectively because that's what I do. But uh, I saw the message and they were like, hey, we ran into a California adventure. Have a nice day. I'm from Arizona. Uh, and I remember that. So sorry I ignored it, but I will do it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, what happened was I'm at Disney, right? getting a churro like I fucking do and I so in real life I'm Jacob that's me I'm I talk at like a fifth of this volume and I'm Jacob just doing my thing being Jacob eating churros as Jacob does so I'm ordering a churro a motherfucking churro and in the way back like like 25 feet away from me I hear someone say like whisper not even loud go yo is that Alpharad and like it's like a spidey sense you know my fight or flight goes off and I'm like <sighs> okay you know now it's just like now is let, let's say this churro guy took mine threw it on the ground stomped on it spit in my face I'm like people are watching gotta be cool gotta be cool you know it's and then I don't ever want to be like, oh, I heard that. I heard who, who here is looking for Alpha Rad? I don't want to be that motherfucker. So what I do instead is act like I didn't hear shit. And I get my churro and I turn around and pretend to not notice the group of like eight high schoolers in all in purple matching t-shirts. I'm, pre I'm pretending I don't recognize them or hear them and I just, slowly walk past them and i'll be honest i walked way longer around them i think they thought i heard them so i just ignored them and walked around them and then eventually one was like aren't you alpha ride and i turn around and go why yes i am and i'm like deep throwing a churro in the middle of it yeah it was a it was a school trip gang <laughs> you hit him with who i i did do that once i like giving them the who um one time i was at a bar it was like a barcade and I was playing Smash Bros. And this random guy comes up to me and says like, you never stop playing Smash, do you? And I just look at him I'm like, what, am I not supposed to? And he's like, you're Alpha Rad. And I go, what is that? I was just fucking with him. And then he apologized a lot. And then I felt bad and I apologized and said, sorry, that is me. And then he offered to buy me a drink and he did. So I bullied someone and got a free drink out of it. That's just my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, they started it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So this fight is not... Yeah, wait. This fight is not in the guidebook, so I'm going to try and avoid it. 
Oh, wait, actually, this gets a little tricky. Wait, hold up. Okay, because we do have to get this potion, of course. Yeah. Oh, plant the berries! Duh! How could I forget? Okay, wait, wait, hold up. No! God, okay. Wait, reset. We got to reset. Fight wasn't in the guidebook. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Oh, okay. I'm glad I saved there. That was that was a smart save. Okay, so let's... Uh, they want us to plant berries, of course. Okay, one orin and one pizza. Does it ever tell you to save, though? No, I, I actually it does at the beginning. It says do not forget to save. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take, like... Uh, I'm just going to assume when to and when not to save. Okay, so we have made it to Petalburg City. Uh, the first place you'll encounter a Pokemon gym. And coincidentally, your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Potion? Oh, I need to get the potion now. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Reset, reset. Thank you. Thank you for that save. Okay, let's get the potion first. Actually, I'm going to plant the berries because they're easier. This is definitely easier. Okay, one peach berry. And now one orange berry. Okay, okay, I'm gonna save again. <sighs> Why don't you just edit the same file and eliminate the trainer from existence? I should have deleted every trainer that's not in the guidebook. I'm just gonna run. Okay. All right, this is honestly a lot harder than you would expect. Um, hey, I just tuned in. What are we doing? What's the gimmick? Uh, I have a guidebook and we are following it to the T. Uh-huh. Psyched. God, dude, this is hard. How do we get how do we get past her? If you need to save often, you should save when you enter an area. Yeah, I will. Why don't you use save states? Because I'm not emulating. Okay, save, save, good, good. How many pages is this book? Uh 248. Just checked. I love Lotad. Lotad is a friend for me. I'm a huge friend of this guy. Yeah, the, the guidebook doesn't say anything about save states, so like, let's be cool. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna run. They're looking right, I got this. Okay. Maybe I get this, though. Uh, wait. Oh! <sighs> I'm gonna go up this time. God. Okay, okay. I am actually soft-locked. This trainer fight is not in the game, and if it's not in the if, if it's, uh, this trainer fight is not in the guidebook, and if it's not in the guidebook, I'm not doing it. Look down, look down, please. I'm gonna. All right. Oh, they always look when you run. Oh, I did not know that. Did not know that. It's not in the guidebook. How would I know that if it's not in the guidebook? They should have mentioned that. All right. Well, I learned something new today. It's not in the guidebook. How was I supposed to know? All right. Um, so now we go to the gym. Um, a visit with dad. Oh, wait. Actually, that's step number two. 
Uh, step number one is in the Poke Center. Um, speak to the man standing near the PC. He will ask to see your trainer profile. Okay. So how about it? May I see your profile? Yes. Let's see it. I am a Pokemon friend. Um... I'm a children friend is not a good one. Uh, I'm a I'm a friend friend. I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a friend friend. I am, I am a sister friend. Uh, what kind of friend am I? I am a woman friend. We're just an ally, strong woman friends everywhere. Woo! Ending misogyny every day. Uh, let's say I think I think honestly, I I'm a friend friend. <laughs> Actually, I am a family friend is really funny. But I, I'm gonna say I'm a friend friend. I'm a friend friend. F fantastic! Your profile it's wonderful. It really says. Uh... Okay, got it. Thanks, dude. Okay. So now we get to have a visit with dad. It doesn't say to heal, but I'm going to take this upon myself. I am a family guy. I should have said that. <laughs> Wait. Can I be a family guy? I hope it's even better than what you showed me before. Uh... Oh, I can't be Family Guy! Ooh, that's a shame. Uh... Family Dude? <laughs> yeah. I feel like maybe Pokemon just has a show called Family Dude. You know, maybe it's a little different. I'm the family opponent. Family Dude goes hard, though. <laughs> Joe voice. Hey, dude. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa is also a solid one. But now, we step number two, a visit with Dad, Princess Norman. All right. Your dad is the Pedalburg City Pokemon Gym Leader, and he will be overjoyed if you visit and show him your new Pokemon. He knows that one day, you and he will have to battle, but you can do some training, but, but you have to do some training before you can face him. For now, help Wally eh, catch his first Pokemon. Wow. All right. So that's it. That's all they want from me right now. Okay, uh, it tells me how to fight Norman. Uh, we aren't going to just yet. And now we look at Petalburg Woods. Um, oh no, none of these trainers are listed. Uh-oh, we have to avoid them all. All of them. No, the awkward grunt is is in it. Don't worry. The awkward grunt is part of the guidebook. Yeah, don't run. I'm just gonna have to save before every single um thing. Okay, oh I'm just watching the cutscene right now, that's right. Does it ever mention individual trainers? Um, here, I'm gonna... It, it does. It does. It mentions all... Actually, it seems like it's listing trainers at random. Because some optional trainers are mentioned here. I don't know. What does it say about grinding? I don't know yet. Does it tell me it should be like a certain level for the gym leaders or something? No, it doesn't.
No, it does not say just yet. I'll figure it out. Does it give teams for the gym leaders and Elite Four champion? Uh, it show the first person who I've seen. It's only shown me the teams of gym leaders and rivals so far, and that's it. What Pokemon am I gonna have for Roxanne? I'm gonna have Meryl, and I'm going to have Trico, and I think that's it, which is fine. The Prima game guide is so much better. Probably, but this one told me what team to have, and that's what I want. I just wanted it to pick my team for me. That was, ma that was mainly it. Yeah, I can solo the, the gym with Trico easily. Cross-reference the guides. I could have done that. But, uh, oh, here, wait one second. Um... Do something. I think that's fine. Can I either have friends or can I be a mod? I don't think you're worthy of either if you're asking. Um, okay. Oh, wait, Scott. Wait, uh oh, uh oh, uh, this is number four. The man with sunglasses. Um, you'll meet the strange man wearing sunglasses on the streets of Petalburg City. He'll tell you that he's traveling home and looking for talented trainers, though he may dismiss your scrubby looks and leaves. You'll cross paths again later on. Spoilers! Does it not tell you what Pokemon spawn on which routes? No, you actually... Okay, hear me out. If you go to the way back, it shows you each individual Pokemon. Pokemon Locator. Here we go. Okay, so Meryl is... Let me look. Meryl is... Routes 104. Oh, wait. Routes 102... Wait, really? Wait, Routes 102? Wait, is that on the other side? Route 104, okay, so... <laughs> this guidebook actually is not that helpful. It's not on Route Oh, it's Surf on 102, got it, got it. I need help. Is it in this grass or up that grass? Does, does it matter? Oh, that trainer is always such a good bait. I'm pretty sure, like, you talk to her and she's like, Oh, I'm not a trainer. Sorry. No, I, I was sorry for looking so passionately. Merle's in 104 grass. Is Talo on my team? No. No, Talo is not on my team. Okay. So this gets us one step closer to an optimal team. An effective team, some might say. It's not patch specific. Okay, got it. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, this is going to take some time. Meryl is up. I thought you just said it's not patch specific. All right, Shriko level six. All gen three stars are level 16 of Evo, right? Wait, wait, actually, does it say anything about these berries? Oh, oops. Um, yes, it does. Yes, it does. But it does not tell us to replant these. I feel like it's implied, but it doesn't say it. So I'm not going to. And then it wants us to get the Pokeball afterwards. It doesn't say to replant. Just saying. It just says that there are berries here. So, um, yeah, sorry, that's, I'm following orders here, don't blame me. Deforestation kicks ass, actually. All right, let's see if we can find a Meryl. It's Meryl! It's not. I just wanted to see if, like, anyone was watching and not, like, super into Pokemon and was like, oh, look, you found it! I just want to see if I could out those people immediately who just don't know better. I watched... I, I posted a clip of it where I watched this reaction to my content. And I don't want to sound mean, so I won't. But it, it is shock... It's weird watching a React channel who's never heard of you before. And then give insights to you. Because it's just like the only... You can... 
you have fully controlled all the media they know to understand who you are as a person. One dude watched my three Nuzlocke videos, or my three Pokemon videos, the two Nuzlocke's and the Mudkip one, and was like, I got him. I understand him as a person now. And I'm just like, it's bizarre. <laughs> I, I think it's, I guess like for you guys, it's probably that on a much larger scale from just like seeing a lot of videos, but it's weird to isolate that knowledge to three select videos. Did they watch the Alfred Deluxe Nuz Nuzlocke? No, they did not. A few people know about those. Okay, Meryl's in here, right? Isn't that the definition of parasocial? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like incredibly. Are you talking about A Drive? No, 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 no. No, I wasn't. A Drive and I have, like, at least talked. Oh. Okay. This is an optional fight, but it is in the guidebook. So. We'll do it. This trainer is legal. Uh, it is an optional fight, but it is in the guidebook. Meryl is more common behind the berry house. I get that, but is that is that actually true? Because I feel like the grass shouldn't matter, right? Was this Pokemon challenges? No. It, it was a small, smaller creator who I've never heard of, and he's never heard of me, and he was reacting to my stuff. That, that's all it is. Yeah, Meryl's a 20% on the entire route. Yeah, it sounds like there's some confirmation bias from chat here. It's like, when I was a kid, I told the story in the Twitch Place Pokemon, but when I walked in front of the PC, like not the PC PC, but the computer sitting on Nurse Joy's like desk, uh, when I walked in front of it, my egg hatched as a kid. And I was like, well, that's how you hatch eggs. It's like an incubator, is what I thought. Yeah, berry house. Uh, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay right here. I feel like I have to get a Meryl. It's Puchiana. Not giving the reactor free clout. Hey, I kind of already did actually. <laughs> I did definitely tweeted it out. And he had, like, all his socials on it. So, uh, I guess he did get, uh, some free... Yeah, I didn't really think that one through. I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> I'll, I'll play this clip, actually. I want to have it all set up for, like, my browsers and everything. But I just want to play the audio from this clip. Because I just think this is really funny. It's someone reacting to my, my content. Yeah. And this is just so funny to me. You will love the Alpha Red videos. I think he's absolutely hilarious. I've never seen any of his content. So, you see what I was dealing with. <laughs> it's it's a real Persona 5 vibes. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's my favorite game. Can't wait to play it. <laughs> he saw you in Jane's video, but I'm not funny in Jane's video. I have like four lines of dialogue in Jane's video. It's just funny to me. I just, I just think it's funny. It's it's one of those things where like, it's hysterical because like I think it's genuine. But if if it's serious, if it's like facetious, and I'm the one not in on the joke, now it's hysterical. <laughs> did did he not say that it was a cut audio? It was a cut audio. It was a I've never seen his content besides the two videos I've reacted to. Like that was the full line. But it's just when I'm watching this like half paying attention. And I just hear that one line. I pause and go, what the fuck? And then I keep playing it. And then I was oh, okay. But wasn't that funny? <laughs> Yo, are we going to see Return of Dicey Dungeons? Honestly, I haven't played that game in a minute. But goddamn, is it good. I, I need to play it. Oh, Meryl! Awesome. Okay. No nickname for this Meryl. Um, okay, I'm... I can do a... I can do a pound. I can do a pound. The crit. It, it scared me how fast it went through. Okay. Now let's, uh... We should have bought more balls. I did say that in the guide, so... Poof, silly me. But... Maybe? Does it give us any advice for catching? Uh... 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 Uh-oh! Maybe they heard from you from Yon or Jane's more edited solo. No, they didn't. Guys, 
it was just someone who said something. He probably, it's just, we don't have to psychoanalyze what he meant by that sentence and the instances and the other content I've been in. Why can't we just laugh and move on? <laughs> Why can't we just throw this Pokeball and have it go in? Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay. Okay, we caught Meryl. And now we get to nickname it. Okay, chat, what are we going to nickname it? That was a test. The guidebook said no nicknames. We're moving on. Stream dying. Oh, shit, it is. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh. Uh... Hmm, I see, I see. I see that's dying. It looks like it's getting better. It's getting worse, actually. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold up. Promise I'll fix it. People are saying save my game. Like, it's... If the internet goes out, that's a you thing. Like, my game's gonna be fine. I'll save, but, like, it's... Oh, there it is. It looks fine now. All right. Hey, we're back! Hey, kinda. Yeah, we're back. I don't know what that was. My internet just decided to say yoink, and now it's back. Oh, wait, so these... Okay, that was close. That was close, though. Okay, and now that's... I don't even need to look. That's a paralyzed heal. I know that. Because the guidebook tells me. Yep, it does. Uh, I should train the Meryl a little bit. It's a little low. I think I'm going to switch train it. Um... Okay. Uh... Yeah, so now we just fight. We step right here. And this is how we get a great ball, it says. Uh, step number two. Team Aqua. In Petal Petalburg Woods, you'll battle a Team Aqua Grunt who's roughing up a Devon researcher. Follow your, following your victory, the Grunt will jaw about Team Aqua's plans in Rustboro. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we got. Does the guidebook mention switch training? Okay, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, did I, did I catch any of Point Crow Subathon? I watched a little bit of it here and there. I wasn't like an active viewer. It's like, I'll just be honest, I'm not much of like a Twitch person. Like, I like streaming and everything, but I, I don't really get a lot of like, I don't really get a lot out of like watching streams, you know? I prefer edited content. So I, I'm typically a, a YouTube frog, you know? Like, I, I, I just, streams are too much for me. But I'm glad they're not too much for you. Uh, but I did pop in every now and then. Usually I'll pop in, I only watch friends stream. If I'm watching a stream, it's a friend. And I will pop in for like five to 10 minutes and then I'm out. And that's it, that's my experience with Twitch. Did I drop a sub bomb? No. He, he's fine. He's a fucking millionaire. We're all we're all millionaires. Just he doesn't need my money. Oh my god, am I about to lose because of that one sand? Oh my god, he has used so many sand attacks on me. I'll try one more absorb. All right, cool. Lower the bit rate. The bit rate's fine. It's just the internet's having an issue right now. Uh, this sucks, though. Which has a higher... I think they're both, both the same. I'll just use Pound, though. The guidebook does not mention losing. It actually doesn't, so I, I won't lose. So we're building our team. We have Trico... Let me go back to the start. We have Trico and Meryl... We got to get Sableye, which we'll get soon. Uh, Manectric, Skarmory, and Heracross. So, it is nice that those Pokemon are pretty spread out. 
But I really want to talk about the ineffective team. <laughs> you can have a Gut Swellow, a Ninjask, wait, Zatu. Like, Zatu, honestly, as an opener, is pretty decent if you can just spam, like, Light Screen uh, Reflect. It's pretty decent. But it also has Crobat, Gyarados, and Salamence. Three just really good, consistent mons. Like, that is... It's all mono flying, but, like, Gyarados can also be, like, Focus Sash with Earthquake, you know? Like, it's... It's pretty... It's a pretty good team. It, it really feels like as, as a mono team, like as a mono type team, it's like one of the best teams you could possibly have in this gen. No Rayquaza? No. <laughs> they did not have Rayquaza on this team. Salamence is just lame Altaria? I don't... I guess they're dragon flying, but so is a lot of Pokemon. I don't, I don't think that. But I just feel like... Uh, I think they're just kind of different guys. Maybe you should do a monotype or a tournament with monotype teams. Uh, I've played monotype randoms before and it's really funny because sometimes one person gets fire, one gets water and you just go, shake my hand. It's, it's funny. Can we talk about there's one mono flying, like only flying type and it's Tornadus? Uh, not true. It's Tornadus, then Rook D. And then the mid-evolution of Rookadee and Corviknight, who I always... Is Corva Squire? Am I making that up? It's like something Squire, right? Oh, uh, do we actually have a flying type? Skarmory. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, can we learn fly? Because that's going to be inconvenient otherwise. Corva Squire? I, I got it? Awesome. Okay, so now... We are in Flower Shop. Okay. Learn about berries from Pretty Petal Flower Shop. We'll give you a Whalmer Pail. And they'll give me a random berry. Okay. It does say to get Bullet Seed here, which is pretty decent early game. Is it like base power 10 though? Wait, actually, what is the base power? Uh, yeah, it's base 10. It's base 10, it's max 50. So like realistically, let's say 30 absorbs 40. We're actually not gonna learn it. We're just gonna steal the berries like Game Freak intended. Does the guidebook say to teach bullet seed though? I guess my hands are tied. Um, okay, it does say that there is a potion right here. And a white herb? Really? They have a white herb lying around? That's insane. I guess it's not that crazy, actually. Yeah, there's a potion right here. I always thought there was like a hidden item right here because it just feels like there should be, right? in the guide? Okay. <laughs> Reset. Wait. There's not a white herb here. It's just making shit up at this point. It's just lying! And for what? It's just wrong! <laughs> okay, so let's get the Whalmer Pale, as it asks. Mm, I would love to learn about berries, yes. Mm. If you take berries, be sure to plant them in the soil. Actually, it does not say that in the guide, so I will not. There's a book that lists Deli Bear <laughs> as a legendary. Well, they're correct. Maybe they're just ahead of their time. Oh, oh there's the Whalmer Pail. This is why school... This is why school is dumb, kids. I think it's just like... This feels like it's full of rumors that you'd hear on the playground. 
All right, we got a Lepa Berry. Awesome. All right, I'm going to use one of our potions um, on our Meryl. Uh, I'll do one on our Trico, too. St uh, stream says Pokemon Pinball, my dude. Prove me wrong. That's what I thought. I think Deli Birch, Birch should have been like a, a mythical. You know, because like if you think Santa Claus, you're like, that's a mythical guy. <laughs> I'll double down on that. All right, so actually, this guy's in the book. This guy's in the book. Uh, to prove it, his name is Rich Boy Winston. Just so you know, I'm not making it up. Rich Boy Winston, definitely in the book. What'd I say? You caught a zero? Oh, I caught a Meryl. Uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll level it up eventually. First time chat, say hi, say hi back. Uh, Pineco? I will say hi, because it's your first time, and that's it. You won't get lucky twice. Is Kindler Bryant in the book? Uh, where's Kindler Bryant? So I've gotten into Pokemon cards lately. That's an expensive hobby. Oops. I got a Rainbow Kindler, and I did not know who it was. But I guess that's a thing. Kindlers are a thing. I learned that. I'm just going to leer for a second. <sighs> this is fine. I'm just going to make a minus two defense and then just spam tackle. Am I missing an inside joke while the stream says pinball? I mean, dude, does it matter? It just, it, it like, I know, I know absorb special, I just want more health. But now I'm going to tackle. Uh, it just doesn't matter, right? It, it just straight up does not matter. Oh, now my attack's down. Okay, so it might, it cancels out. I should have, I should have pounded that time. Whatever. Ever play a trading card game? Uh, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. That, that was my shit. Uh, I also played the Pokemon TCG a little bit. Uh... I could probably learn Pokemon TCG if I wanted to. Yu-Gi-Oh is like it's it's too far for it's too far past for me now. It's like too hard. What card is in your phone case? Um I have some more cool cards that I would want to put in my phone case, but I didn't know if it would be like if it would damage it or shit. So I have like a tiny little Hatchrum cuz I I like that guy. So but right now, yeah, it's just uh I just wanted to see if it damages cards or not cuz that I don't want to put like cards I like like in there if, I, if it's gonna hurt them. You know what I mean? But I like Hatchrim a lot. That's a cool guy. Have you played Magic: The Gathering at all? No, actually. I think I think I have to though. So I like One Piece a lot, right? And whenever people will say, "I'll get into One Piece if you do this," I usually say yes to whatever. And then when it, I'm like, they're not gonna catch up. And then they do. Um, like, Rubber Ross is watching One Piece right now. And uh, that's because of, like, me and a few other friends. And I, he said, if I watch all of One Piece, will you watch some Star Trek nerd shit for me? I think it's, like, DS9. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah. So I think I have to watch that if Ross catches up. And then I think I got... I got um, uh, James Odwin's out into into One Piece. He started reading it, so don't know if he'll follow through, but he said, I think he said, if I get into it, will you get into Magic? The Gathering? So I was like, that that was a... Don't want to. Don't want to on that one, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that one goes. DS9 sounds like a sex thing. That's, that's a you thing. That is a... I don't think everyone saw that and thought... I'm going to say that's a you thing. One Piece trading card game? There is a One Piece trading card game coming out soon. Uh, I think it comes out in English in... False Winter, I think I said. DS9 sounds like a Sony controller. Thank you. And not, not a sex thing. I'll watch One Piece if you come to Maine. Like, like just in general? 
Okay. Fat Man's 3759? Shake. Is there a One Piece video game coming soon? There's always a new uh, One Piece video game coming soon. It's just one of those series. They'll always get games. I'm sure none of them will ever be, like, phenomenal, but it's it just it just gets them. Okay. Step four. Two on two battle. Gina and Mia. Okay. They got to prepare for this one. I'm going to use my potions and we're going to buy more. What does As Game Freak in intended mean? Uh, we're reading a, <laughs> a green screen guide to uh, complete the game. And we're only doing what they say. So, two on two battle. You'll encounter your first Pokemon trainer team. Wow. Arrange your Pokemon so the two... <laughs> I don't have more than two Pokemon. I'm following your goddamn guide. Okay. Okay, so low tad, C dot. Uh, it's. What do I want to do? Uh, defense curl. They're probably gonna. Uh, they, they use normal moves. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do that with Meryl, and I'm just gonna like, chip at the others. I'm gonna let Trico kill, and Meryl just needs to survive and get the XP. Boom! 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 Good job, Meryl. Uh-huh. Oh, he's getting angry. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, that's fine. I'm using special moves anyways. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that. Oh, I have limited, but that's fine. Does, doesn't Leer hit both? Yeah, it does. Oh, does Tail Whip hit both? Because then that's so worth it. That's so worth it. Oh, no, not Astonished. Just... Oh, Tail Whip hits both, too. That's good. Yeah, I'm just going to stop. Start chipping with Pound, then. <sighs> yeah, that Tail Whip is really good, actually. <laughs> not worth it if you're using specials. Well, now I'm using Pound. So now I'm using... Yeah, I know it's not worth it if I'm using special moves. <laughs> the, the Growl hurts, too. It actually balances everything out. So, uh... Nothing crazy is happening right now. I might crit, though. When you know, you know. What can I say? <laughs> and that's how you do it. A double crit, huh? Interesting. 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 Ah. All right. Uh, we have no other advice. This fight is entirely optional. But we do want to get these berries. And we do want to do this. Alpha, I just got here. What's going on? So we're going to talk to this lady and she's going to give us a, a chesto berry because I'm reading a guidebook um, I am going to play this game exactly how this guidebook says even the team so what's fun is it oops <laughs> I lost my page there we go um, it gives us a team right here and it shows us what a good team looks like and a bad team uh, for the good team it shows Sceptile, Azumarill, Sableye, Manectric, Skarmory, Heracross. And we're just going to use that team. Despite them showing us what an ineffective team looks like of Swallow, Ninjas, Gyarados, Crobat, Zatu, Salamence. And I get it. It's all flying types. But like, what a ridiculous monotype flying team. Is this me? Was the camera tilted? This, sh this should be a straight line. It's not. Hold up. There's a little little curve with my camera. Let me fix it. Uh, uh, wait. I think I fixed it. That's something that one that was for me, right? Like I'll notice that. I have to stare at it. Use the bad team. The bad team's insane though. The bad team is so good. I kind of want to just use the team that they thought was good. 
but don't like that is such a good team um okay i'm gonna i'm gonna catch some balls here Yeah, I'll just do that. Then I'll just buy potions after that. Actually, I don't need to catch that many. Probably all I'm going to catch with Pokeballs is going to be like... Uh, I should just get potions for now. I'm probably just going to catch Sableye with Pokeballs, and that's it. Who's the HM slave? Uh, don't know yet. Do not know. You should do... Pokemon not as Game Freak intended. Well, how do I do that? When it says, beat the first gym, am I supposed to go, fuck you, no! Then I don't progress. <laughs> I don't get it. The bad team would be rough for Glacia. Yeah, but that's one trainer in the whole game. <laughs> like, plus like Gyarados could probably like kill everything. Too, because he resists, right? Water, water flying. Okay, so first things first, we got to go to the Cutter's house and get cut. Oh no! Okay, so this is how we get cut. Awesome, just like Game Freak intended. And now we got to go to the trainer school and get the Quick Claw. So Captain Kid can put it on an Onyx. <laughs> He's never living that down. <laughs> All right, where do I talk to? This song also bangs. It's so sarcastic when used right. <laughs> okay, we got a Quick Claw. Awesome. Uh, we'll put it on whatever our slowest Pokemon is, just just to have it, you know? All right, and now step three. Uh, if you have a Ralts in your party, you can trade it. I don't, because I'm following uh, your your idea of what... Your, wait, they say there's a Premier Ball in this house. I've probably never... I'm not like a, a secret explorer. Wait, it doesn't even tell me where. It just says in this house. I'm on a scavenger hunt now. All right. Does this fucking kid have one? Oh. I'm sorry. Don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Interesting. Hot take, Premier Ball is one of the best designs. I don't think that's a hot take at all. I think that's a pretty, pretty lukewarm take. Oh, now we got to get this X to Finn, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we needed that one. Your name rhymes with Brad. It, it doesn't, actually. Or do you mean Alpha Rad? Sorry. I forget that's, that's a name. <laughs> okay. And now, step four. A thief is on the loose. Okay, so we do the gym pretty, pretty late. Actually, oh, no, no, no. Now we do the gym badge. It doesn't say when, it just says, you get to step four and they're like, by the way, you should have done this by now. Okay. Uh, does Meryl have a water move yet? I don't think so. Uh, can someone look up? Actually, no, <laughs> no. I don't need to look up Meryl Learn Set. I have it right here. Somewhere. Th these are not in alphabetical order. It's it's in Pokédex number. And I don't know the regional decks for uh, Hoenn. I'm not looking at chat. I am not looking at chat. I, uh, I'm going to find Meryl in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to find Meryl. Found it. Number 55. Uh, it learns Water Gun at level 10. Okay, so we're not too far from that. Perfect. I literally had it on screen, didn't I? Hmm. 
Not my brightest moment. Awesome. Good job, Icarad. I get what you're going for, but come on. <laughs> Throwing. Come on, chat. You're funnier than that. Oh, I didn't heal, did I? Oh, well, that counts as healing. realize like probably like on here it cuts off some of your names doesn't it yeah because i i wanted to like hmm. no I'm, I'm gonna keep it that way sorry chat i i can't satisfy everyone everyone's little names the guidebook did not tell me to heal that's true so i didn't i just straight up did not i just thought i did oh we aren't funny chat i think chat can be so funny sometimes. Sometimes I think the videos I record while streaming are funnier. It's because I, okay, okay, hold up. This is very true. None of the streamers want to talk about it, but this is very true. We like to pretend chat's not there, especially in YouTube videos. Chat never gets mentioned in videos. You know why? It's because we're reading chat and just reading the funniest things, but passing it as our own. Like, let me read this. Now everyone's just commenting on it. But that is very true. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, I do it. I do it all the time. I think my videos are funnier when I steal shit from you guys. It's all about, like, dialect, cadence, right? Like, I could just read this and say, chat is like a church with congregation singing. The sharp splats cancel out. But I feel like, chat is like... Chat is like church congregation singing, you know? And you say it casually, so it just goes under the radar. But every time I watch YouTube videos of streamers, they'll always do this. They'll always be like, now I'm going to say something funny. You know, they always like look away, presumably where chat is on their screen. And then they go, huh. And then they bring it to the table for the YouTube video. Humor is never original, it's always recycled. I mean, sure. <laughs> but like, I think it's a pretty boring fucking opinion, if I can be honest. Like, it's easy to say nothing is original, but I think, I think there's original shit all the time. I think it's just all inspired by other things, you know? I think, I don't, I don't like saying that art's not original though, in any capacity, because then it just makes me feel like there's no room to have any creativity. And I don't like, I don't like living in that world, you know? It's just like, I grew up very religious, right? And the thing that got me like less involved in religion was thinking that I didn't have free will, you know? I hate that. I hate the thought of that. So like, I, I'm, I'm fine. Like, I, I'm probably on some kind of religious spectrum somewhere, but my biggest thing is just like, God, I could not imagine having no like free will, no choice, right? If, like, the, the thought of predestination was, like, everything before it has been planned out. I'm like, that sucks. <laughs> if that's true, that sucks. It, yeah, if you were Jewish, you couldn't have those tattoos, for example. Dude, people who are religious do not follow every single fucking rule. That's... It's in, like, the Bible, like, for Christianity as well. It's like... It's, come on. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Big topic for a little Pokemon stream. That was Old Testament though. Yeah, but like, why do we get to pick and choose? All I'm saying is like, it's in there. You can still have tattoos as a Jewish person, you just can't be tet buried in a Jewish cemetery. Yeah, makes sense. It's weird, religion's weird, man. Roe versus Wade opinion. 
Ooh, let me do this. Let me talk about this. I think it's fucked. I think it's really fucked. I'm not gonna fill this Pokemon stream talking about, like, abortion and just, like, what it protects and everything like that. So, you know, long story short, I think... I, saw, I think I just saw one comment. I made a very brief tweet that was like, I think overturning Roe v. Wade is pretty fucked because it just, it throws out all hope. It throws hope out the window for all reproductive rights, right? You know, we can agree. But like, I just don't like making big tweets because I don't like getting in conversations. I have a lot of shit to say and I don't like trimming it down to Twitter. But how I really feel about it is that I saw one tweet in response to mine that said, Ooh, but if you're legalizing abortion, why are we denying women of this, the most incredible miracle a human can do in creating new life? And I'm like, it's not about denying, it's about choice. And that's it. Yeah, it's about just, we have such cool technology. We have such cool everything. And now we can give people a larger choice and autonomy over their own body. That's sick. Let's do that. Yeah, women are more than birthing machines. Yeah. Some, something, though, I, I've been trying to get a little better at this. Because, like, you know, trans men and non-binary people can also, like, give birth, you know? So I'm trying to say reproductive rights instead of, like, women's rights, you know? Because... It's like this whole confusing little ball where it's like someone corrected me and they're like, oh, you, you should use this instead. I'm like, fuck, you're right. <laughs> and so it's like I'm trying to rewire my brain just to be more, a little more inclusive, you know? Oh, do we need, we don't need a heal actually, do we? We can just do this. Um, yeah, I'm going to save. I don't think we need to, but I just can. Twitter's good for art. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to in in like the Roe v. Wade comment. I just think like, so what it does is like now the opinions are all in the states. Like it pretty much nationally protected. Hey, you got to legalize it. And now it's like, hey, you don't, but you can, but you don't have to. I think I think it will be fine. But just that lack of blanket security is pretty shitty. Whatever. Let's play Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on, like, every political thing, obviously, but I just, like, that's something I feel pretty passionate about, because I think that one's pretty fucked. Yeah, look at Texas. Woo! Yeah. Anyways, Pokemon! Oh, wait, Meryl has Water Gun now. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Meryl is now a Pokemon. We have at least one move we can use. Also, I've been editing a lot of the Twitch Place Pokemon uh, content, and I realized that, like, my OBS was on this monitor, so I kept looking off stream, essentially, and I was like, I'm so tired of that. So now I move my OBS over here. So I'm, my, like, on the stream layout, I am looking towards the game much more, and I think that just, visually, it looks a little better, you know? Rock Tomb, we're fine. We're fine. But now my chat's over here. So I still look. How many monitors do I have? Uh, I have an editing computer and a, and a streaming computer. Because I, I use uh, Mac software to edit. Because that's just what I grew up with. So that's what I use still. But um, so I only have two monitors here. And for my editing computer, I have one ultra wide monitor. Uh, nose pass, nose pass, nose pass. Uh, I think we sack Meryl here. Uh, and by the way, Nose Pass to level 15 has Block, Harden Tackle, and Rock Tomb. Uh, and just so you know, the Rustboro City Gym has a simple design. Four tra trainers. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bring along Pokemon that have Grass or Water type moves. We did. And earn an easy victory. If you chose Torchic as your first Pokemon, the battle will be a little tougher than if you chose a Trico or a Mudkip. Although, Makuhita is a fighting type Pokemon. I mean, good for him, I guess. <laughs> Apples and oranges to me, but true, I guess. <laughs> I 
can't even get Makuhita yet. <laughs> That's the next city. <laughs> okay. I don't mind Nose Pass, but I hate Probo Pass. Same. I hate Probo Pass. Nose Pass is pretty cool, though. Oh, block. Can I not use Water Gun anymore? Is that what that move does? Oh, I can't escape now. Ooh, I was kind of hoping to swap. Uh, I don't think this is mm, that much of a problem. Uh, Ornberry, that's just 10 HP. But I guess that's a lot. I could probably spam Defense Curl for a little bit and use the Potion. You can trade Ross for a Makuhita? No, you can trade for a C-Dot. That's what the guidebook said. Um, that's Disable. No, I know Disable does. I just thought Block did that as well. Uh, I could just Defense Curl. Because everything he has is physical. Yeah, that did do a lot. Yeah, at this level, 10 HP is a lot. Uh, what is he gonna use? I don't think it's worth it. I think I think we just keep water gunning and let Meryl uh, pass away. Yep, makes sense. I agree with that. And now he's in Trico. But we are actually a little under leveled for this fight now that I'm realizing it. I didn't realize before. Uh, but we're healing with this, and it's super effective, so we should be fine. Maybe. Do they use a potion? Because potion would be brutal. Okay, he missed. That's awesome. Uh, potion. There's no... Wait, it didn't, it didn't mention a potion. That would be really good info for the guidebook to have. Okay, now we're at the start. Um... The book didn't mention grinding, so... Yeah, what's the strat? Maybe I should just defense curled on the other guys. I should have just built... Leer wouldn't help since grass is special. Correct. Even if grass wasn't special, absorb is a special move. So, okay, all right. Losing was not in the guidebook, so we got to make do. God, he's he's tanky. He's tanky. Chat didn't even looked at mention the crit. Oh my god. <laughs> reset, hard reset. No, we're not resetting. Uh, I, honestly, if I set up on him, that crit would have killed anyways. This is how it works. I said, yeah, I said water and grass was an easy win. That nose pass is tanky. Oh my god. And we are like a little under level, but Jesus. Those four levels made a huge difference. Packing rare candies? It's not in the guidebook. Why would I do that? I'm just gonna keep going in. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a defense curl six times. <laughs> I'm gonna be so slow. I'm, I'll use potions and shit, I don't mind. Oh, now he's defense curling. Uh, I'm only going to use special moves, so that's fine. I mean, my defense curl strat's perfectly okay, as long as they don't crit. Okay, so we're going to play this game. Got it. We're just defense curling at each other. This rock throw, how much damage? Six. Awesome. Already slower than Geodude? Yeah. I lost track, if I can be completely honest. So I'm going to heal here and then just start water, water gunning. Should have given it Quick Claw, though. That would have made a difference. Ooh, perfect. Perfect miss. It does suck to be a slower, I will say. <laughs> That's also okay. They're just they're staring each other down. Oh, I thought that would okay. Did it not last time? Maybe not. Well, she just heals anyways. 
The guy didn't say to give it quick claw. Ha <laughs> ha. That's going to be all the jokes, huh? Chat, what should we do? Ha. <laughs> Guys, can we just like pray for crit here? It's not in the book, but can we just pray for a crit? Because I mean, I'm fine with just defense curling yet again. Meryl's leveling up, though. Now they're tied. They're a similar level to our little Trico. Big damage. Big damage. When they missed, Meryl has not been hit by attack in a while. Wait. Is she, is she using all her potions now? Because that's great. That's great. Um. Yeah. I'm super high defense and uh, she used all her potions. That's great. Any big video plans like the Olympic video, the bounce house one? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a... I actually have one done. Or kind of done. It's not done. It's been filmed. The talent show. Um, we have like a rough draft editing and I just, I need to watch it. I need to review it, but it's, uh, I hosted large talent show in LA for people to come to. And I think it's funny. We'll see. We'll see if it's funny. Is there not another rehearsal play happening? There is, but those aren't, those aren't fast. Like it, those are a lot of prep work, like before the tournament, despite the, the event. But we will do another thing. Ooh, tackle this three. Easy. Okay. Ooh, 10 HP is so much. But at least he can't heal with a potion anymore. At least we have that. Him spamming Harden. Perfect. I love that. I'm choking on water. <coughs> Not in the game, though. I'm playing incredible. <coughs> What happened to the podcast? Ooh, a crit E. Uh, we just haven't uploaded lately. If I can be honest. Wait, I, I need I need to see who's who's live right now. Before I start drama. I think we're recording more of the podcast on Monday. But uh a certain someone has has been canceling recording sessions for the podcast last minute. So if anyone's wondering why there's not a new episode of the podcast, just know it's not me. Uh, it's someone else on the podcast, on the two-person podcast. It could be anyone, though. Could be anyone. But uh, someone, someone's just been canceling last minute. So we, we might record it more on Monday. So podcast is coming soon. Maybe. Someone says definitely Ludwig. It's not fucking Ludwig. It's Coney, the other person on the podcast. I didn't think I would have to spell that out, but now you guys are... It's not fucking Ludwig. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, we beat Roxanne. Woo! Just like the guidebook said. And now we get the stone badge and TM39 rock tomb. And after we beat Roxanne, we'll be able to use HMO1 cut outside of the battle. The stone badge increases the Pokemon's attack power. What? The stone badge increases your Pokemon's attack power? Is that real? Do, do badges increase your stats? <laughs> huh. Badge boost is a thing in earlier games. Huh. 12.5? That's an insane boost. What? I think I heard that like once or twice, but I didn't really think about it. What's the badge boost in this game? Is it not 12.5? I didn't know that. It's 10%. 10%? Is that a guess? It doesn't say anything. It says increases attack. Is it special attack too? Is it just, or is it just physical attack? Just attack? <laughs> Not special attack, just physical? What the f- 
Why? That's... So, like, I shouldn't... Prioritize special moves? Wait, hold up. Tell me this is a huge power Meryl. Oh, wait, each badge boosts different stats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There are... But there's only, s like, five stats, really. Oh, special attack and defense are from mind badge. Gotcha. Okay. So is it every badge has their own stat? Oh, not all badges do it. That's a weird, subtle thing. Only four of them boost. That's weird. Is it like every other badge or just random? Watson is speed. Brawly is defense. Oh, so it's the first three and then the seventh badge. That's weird. All right, so I guess... All right. Uh, remember physical... Sp I know physical special split doesn't exist. So we... But Meryl can learn, like, strength or something. And honestly, Meryl learning strength is going to be pretty good for us. Okay, so I'm looking at the trainers who are identified. First, we got to go here, right? Of course, we got to get the repel. We're not going to use it, but we got to have it. I'm going to save right here before the next stealth mission. We made it. Okay, so lucky for us, uh, school kid Karen is in the guidebook, so we can fight her. Even his level cap, odd his stat boost. Interesting. Yeah, water fall, waterfall will be good. Stab and physical. Nope, not with the the physical special split. It is still a water special move. All water moves. Meryl Lord's double edge. Uh, recoil moves. I guess if we're healing and reviving, it doesn't really matter. I just haven't played Pokemon without Nuzlocking in a in a bit. I sometimes I do Nuzlocks for fun, you know. Just sometimes I I don't like stream it. I just do it because I'm like this could be fun. Uh, will you play Shadow the Hedgehog? Uh, I played it way back when on FWAB, and had a pretty awful time. If I can be completely honest, I do not think that game is fun. Uh, down to revisit it one day. But the next Sonic game I want to play is Sonic Chronicles. The, the the DS game. The DS game with the incredible soundtrack. Uh, Sonic Central City. Uh, this song. Yeah! You like that shit? Yeah, it's all tries outro music, which I think it's very fitting. Yeah, so I I want to play that game bad. Because I think it's like a... I played it so you don't have to, because I've heard of a lot of people talk about it, but I've never heard of anyone playing it, so... I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna play that one day. This shroom is just kicking my ass, bro. And I'm not paralyzed here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's what it's from. I, I want to use... I want to play that game so bad because it just sounds interesting. I, I don't know anything about it. And I think that's why I'm so interested. It's just mystery for me. Okay, we don't have any Pokemon we gotta catch here, though. What what was that from? It's uh, Central City from Sonic Chronicles and the Dark Brotherhood. I hope I answered your question. I need to train Trico now. And how much is huge power on Tackle? Let me see. Oh. Badge boost, huge power without stab. Okay. Got it. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not going to go back and heal. I'm just going to do this. What do you do when you're not doing video stuff? Honestly, I just kind of hang out and watch YouTube videos. I kind of just do that. I order the same three meals from DoorDash, cook occasionally, and uh, s sometimes do music. Haven't done music in a, in a while, if I can be honest. And, uh, like, see, here we go. Azul Parrot. Do you just write music when you're not doing videos? I am a more complicated human than two hobbies, I promise you. Oh, the, the, honestly, these trainers are hard. They got, a. Uh, we got two obstacles to avoid, and then we got to avoid them on the way back. Oh, shit, that's hard. Oh, th that one doesn't look away, does it? Oh, he doesn't look away. All right, I'm, I'm just going to make the executive decision. I'm just going to say we have to. It says the only required battles for School Kid Jerry and School Kid Karen, and I don't see Jared anywhere. We're edging ever closer to Kindler Bryant. What is the lore of Kindler Bryant? Who started this? Because this is news to me. It's shocking to me. Uh, Jacob, what do you use to read One Piece? Uh, I either get scans from TCB, but if you want to like catch up, I just use. ReadOnePiece.com has like fan colored manga, which I think is really pretty. And that's what I tell people to read if they if they want to get into it. But if you just want it like black and white, I just use the Shonen Jump app. Two dollars a month and you get like, you can read Spy Family, you can read My Hero, you can read a lot of things. Uh, the only manga I've read on it is One Piece, again, My Hero, Spy Family. And uh, Kaguya-sama Love is War. Those are like the only four. Uh, oh, and Chainsaw Man. Those are the only five manga I've read. I'm pretty sure. I have manga. Oh, and no, I have like other manga I've skimmed through it, but those are like the only five I've like read. Um, okay, is there anything over here? Oh, there's an X special. Okay, perfect. Let's grab that real quick. I think my favorite... My favorite Pokemon trainer. This chat, do you have a favorite Pokemon trainer? I'm sure you do. Mine, I, I think I have a type, right? Like, I, I definitely do have a type. Uh, my favorite trainer is Zinnia. And it matches my type, I understand. It's, it's just, I mean, dark haired dragon girl. She's badass, she's sick. Yeah, I, I'm a huge Zinnia person. Second place, it's definitely in, because I, I love, and, like, beyond dark-haired punch girl, I think my other major type is just, like, androgynous characters. And I feel like N is very androgynous, and I, I love that. Super in, super in to N. And after that, it, it'd probably be Cynthia. Like, it, pretty basic top three, I understand. But, like, I don't think Pokemon is a, care, is a game where, like, trainers have a lot of depth. So, you know, you kind of... You mainly go off aesthetic, right? N was my awakening... Very understandable. Fair. Not mine. I just, like, they're a character who I'm just like, I, I want to be you. You know, it's like, that's how, that's how I see in. Oh, no. Whismer's making an uproar. Uh, Hugh has a good design, but faulty character development. Hugh does have a good design. I do agree. But, like, it's Pokemon. Like, do they really need, like, insane character arcs? I say no. I, there are just like some characters I like and I just say, oh, I like those. Yeah, popular things are popular for a reason. Very true. Rickle says, I love Pokemon. That's awesome. Good for you, man. Pokemon trainer, gender, envy. That's in. That's that's definitely in. Gen 5 has the best character story arcs overall. Yeah, I am actually am putting out a Gen 5 video soon. Maybe I was supposed to edit it today, but here I am recording, streaming this. So, uh, oh wow, it's 9.30. How'd that happen? Ugh. I like my little hat trim. I think I'm going to put an Absol card in it now that I know. Also, I have like the Rayquaza Zinnia card, and I'm thinking of putting that in here. Just because it's kind of badass, and I like both of those mons a lot. So either that or an Absol card. 
I would put just like a Zinnia, like, what is it? What, what is a Zinnia card? Z it's Zinnia something. It's not redemption, it's just something like that. I have that full art, but it's just like, uh, I don't want to have like anime girl in the back of my phone case, you know? It doesn't feel right. It feels like I get looks. So I'd rather just get her in a giant dragon so it looks a little more... Oh, okay, we get it. Y'all, okay. I, I love asking this question. I know, I'm begging for engagement here. But what is your favorite Pokemon? My my favorite is Absol. I mean, that's that's pretty clear, right? I, I've talked about it several times. I think number two is like I think two and three is like Whimsicott and Porygon Z. I think those are like I think it's changed. Esper's probably fourth. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know what my other ones are. Probably, like, I think, like, honestly, Dracovish, Blaziken, probably rounded out. I also like Sylveon, Gardevoir. They're, they're up there. Um, I just, yeah. Okay, we got some first-time chatters here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who has, who has Absol? Or Absol Rage? Oh, it's just someone named Absol. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, I love Absol. Ursa Luna? No shit. Really? Of all of them? Ursa Luna? Yeah, I think... Asking people for like their top like five Pokemon is honestly so interesting. I feel like you learn so much about people when you do that. Um, okay, so uh, we have done everything. Everything that we can get in uh, Rust Turf now. Oh, it's now telling me to go to 105. Oh, that's true. Now we actually know we got to go back to Rustboro. And now it's going to say... Uh, uh, oh wait, I, I lost my guidebook. Um, Rustboro, and now we gotta go through all the Devon Corpse shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... Okay, okay. That's it, that's it. That's it, got it. And then we just go to 105. Alpha Red, you have a type. Yeah! Yeah, I know. I, I just like the little wacky guys. I like the guys who I can have as pets. You know? Like Esper. Esper's just kind of my cat as it stands, but I still like him. God, I'd love to have a little Whimsicott. How big is Whimsicott? Can I sleep on it? <laughs> uh, height, Whimsicott. I feel like they're little, right? They're tiny little baby small. Two feet four inches? That's a pillow! That's awesome! Oh my god, I want one. <laughs> I, I want I want to get a plush, like a one-to-one -one, uh, scale. I, I might even commission it. Oh my god, do I have a life-size Whimsicott? That'd be so awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, Porygon Z is a crazy guy. Ever since, I, I had a Porygon Z in Legends R6 and I nicknamed him Big Shot, and I just started liking him so much more after that happened. That would be like $600. Dude. I'm gonna upload the stream and I'm good. I can have, <laughs> I, I can buy the life size Whimsicott. Uh, he's an Nakata. I actually do need the XP. I'm a little under leveled, especially since Brawly's Makuhita is level 19. It says right here. Also, when we go to Duford, we're gonna get our third Pokemon. We're gonna get Sableye. Archie game has a life size Marie. Yeah, I've seen that one. Uh, Serenite Scooch. You know they had their vile tweet with the ah yes, me and my girlfriend and her $500 Marie plush. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I do have the type. It's just like, I think Zinnia is just, I, I just like Zinnia. I think she's a really cool character. And I was really worried when I was watching uh, Pokemon, was it Generations? Was that the one where they went through like all the generations? It, it probably was. When they had like the Zinnia episode, I was like, Please don't give her an oo-woo voice, and I'm so glad they didn't. I'm glad that they made her badass, because I... Let's walk right in. It's just something about the dark-haired dragon girl. What can I say? I just think she's badass. Awesome. We're moving on. The wish? Yeah, it was, it was, it was great. Zinnia's just Pokemon's Ryuko. And I like them both. What can I say?
Did you expect Owo voice? It's not that I was expecting it, I just feared it, right? Like, it didn't match her character, but that's never stopped people in the past. I guess this one's a little different, but, like, everyone loved Courtney's redesign in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. You know, like, the admin, or the magma admin. But, like, she had a very uwu voice in, in the anime. And I was like, shit, now I like her less. I don't like the uwu voice. Why skip the trainer? It wasn't in the guide. That's why we didn't do it. Did you like B from Sword Shield? I did. Uh, I think my favorite trainer from Sword and Shield was probably Sonya. I, I really like the colors scheme of like orange and uh, teal. It was like my favorite is Raihan for sure was the character I liked the most. The the G dragon gym trainer. Maybe maybe there's something there. Dragons. Um, who was your favorite character in Sword and Shield? I felt like all the characters are pretty shallow, but you know it's still still fine, still cool. I'm gonna bring chat up a little bit, cause like I'm I'm blocking the bottom part of it, and you can only see like, not enough of it. There you go. Huh. I like Marnie. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Marnie, Sonya isn't a trainer. Is it, do you feel good? Do you feel good for commenting that one? <laughs> it's, who cares, dude? Favorite character, favorite trainer, professor, whatever. Um, she had a she had a yamper. She did have a yamper. That's true. B was my favorite. Bead was my favorite. The guy got a penis on his head. That was a real character. That, <laughs> that was true. Nessa's good. Uh, Raihan and Leon. Uh, I didn't really get the Leon love when I played the game, but now, like, with the anime kind of getting to it, I was like, ah, I see it. With 800 hours in Sword, they all suck. Yeah, I think I think all the characters in uh, Sword and Shield are pretty shallow. I'm like a sword defender, too. You know, like, I, I think Sword and Shield are pretty good. People are just mean. <laughs> I, I like the game a lot. Um... I think the DLC was phenomenal. Is this just a vanilla playthrough? No, no, no. No, it's different. I'm following the guide and doing everything it says. Which, uh, it constructed our team for us. And, uh, we're just kind of like doing some shit where I just like, I don't have a lot to do right now. So we're just filling time. We're doing what professionals in this industry call stalling. And it's working. Oh, or hello chat. There you go. Um, it does tell us about an optional rival battle. Uh, I say we just do it for the hell of it. Let's see. This rival battle is... Uh, they have Lotad and Torchic. That's it. Okay, so Meryl... Wait. I should, I should lead with Trico. How's your Pokédex coming along? D don't care. Shut up. Me. Okay. Uh, oh, Trico's already leading. Perfect. How expensive is Sword and Shield with all the DLC? Uh, it's like... Okay, it's like $90, right? It's 60 plus... Is it 25 or 30? I know, I know it's a little bit of a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to absorb here. Um, I have mod on YouTube channel streams. Can I have it on Twitch too? Uh, your name is XX Hisself XX. If I knew that when making you a mod on YouTube, would not have done that. Change change your name, and we'll talk. You're fine, but no, I have I have to have a reason to mod you. It can't be a legacy. You you have to give me a reason. I see some people Omega... You know what? Clinical Brennan just hops in and says, I'll take his YouTube mod. Okay, you know what? Mod Clinical Brendan. You earned it. You earned it. You got it. I donated money on YouTube. That, that'll do it. So, uh, fun fact, I'm not allowed to mod you <laughs> if you donated money <laughs> for it. So, uh... 
Ah, uh, Twitch could be upset. It's apparently against TOS. I'm not healing a lot, am I? Why are my guys feel so weak? Why are they such weak little guys? I need mod for my research paper. You know, that's a good reason. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quick attack on this one and it might kill. Maybe? Come on. A higher damage roll on any of those attacks would have made a massive difference. Okay, but now they're going to send out... Uh, Meryl. Uh, I'm gonna bait them into using a fire move first. Just because I I want to switch train Trico. Um, they're gonna use it on... They're gonna use Ember, but now it's gonna hit Meryl and it's not gonna do anything. I just want Trico to get a little XP from this too. No burn, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just use Water Gun. No need to use huge power stuff. Wait, hold on. I need to talk about this message. I'm reading chat. I've memorized a worrying amount of the DK Donkey Kong wiki. Can I have mod to cope with it? Uh, no. I'm done giving out mod for this moment, but I am very curious on what all you've memorized from the Donkey Kong Wikipedia page. I'm very interested. It would do less if Meryl had thick fat. Meryl does have thick fat. But we also have badge boost, which I just learned about that mechanic. <sighs> okay, well, yikes, you're better than expected. Meryl has huge power. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, what is the shirt about? Uh, if you can't tell, this is like... It was from Summit, um, the last thing. It's like a weird stat sheet over, like, the Cloud Buster sword, you know? But it's like... It's definitely, like, a gaming shirt, but I think... I wouldn't wear it in public, but I would wear it, like, around the house. You know, one of those, one of those shirts. And what's nice is that it's, like... Even if I did go out with it, it doesn't scream, hey, I don't have sex. You know? It hides it a little bit. Um... Oh, like any YouTuber merch? Yeah. I always try with my YouTuber merch to be like, it might be a clothing line named Alpha. Like, that's kind of what I try to go for. Like, I don't want to just scream like Alpha Rad, you know? It feels a little, little much oh, I'm trying to time this with my with my Game Boy Advance SP alright so let's go back to route 102 oh wait no no this is route 104 uh Mr. Briny's Cottage after you help Mr. Briny save Pico you'll be able to hitch a ride on your ship to Duford and Stateport well isn't that grand Uh, yeah, so let's go to Duford. What's huge is that we get to catch a new Pokemon. I think we get a phone call real quick, and this is going to be real annoying. Hold up. Feel it coming. Do you, do you remember? This might, this is a me thing, because I'm sure some of you are in school now. Um, with all the archaic technology that we had for, like, computers with speakers and like projectors and stuff like that. Every time you got a text message, it would hear like a tick a tick a tick a tick a tick a tick like a little static, like in radio wave interference with all the speakers with your phone. Is that still a thing for like people in school? Do you know, do you know it? Like, no, that's not. Is that not a thing anymore? I've, I've been wondering this. This has actually been on my head for a few days now. I've been like lost in thought. And if anyone asked me what was wrong, I'd be like, I've just a lot of thoughts right now. No, no, that's not a thing. When are you restocking your merch? Um, oh, people do know what I'm talking about. Oh, but some people saying no. I remember as a child, but no, it does not exist. Okay. Cause like, 
like when I graduated, I mean, it was around for me in college. And I started college in uh, 2015, I think, is when I started college. We insulate cables now. Okay, well, there you go. There you have it. Sometimes people will connect to teachers' Bluetooth. That's funny. Not a thing. All right. Our teacher used it to detect people getting text messages. I think it's funny. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait. There's... There's a Stardust in here. And it's... Not in the guide. Oh, but, oh, but you know what is? Oh, there's a protein on the other side of the island. Okay, we got to... That's a lot of help. Thank you. Thank you, guide. Whoa, wait, hold up. Okay, that's fine. This is, this is okay. We're okay right here. It says there's... You get, like, Silk Scarf. That's huge. Silk Scarf would be really good for a Zoomerill to hold because then we have a physical type with Silk Scarf and then huge power. That's really good. Hmm. That's really good, actually. Uh, yeah, I might give uh, Zoomerill Silk Scarf. Ooh, this sucks. Oh, this tentacle is going to kick my ass, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I guess let's do this. But you can get Sludge Bomb here. I don't know if my team is going to have anyone who can, like, use Sludge Bomb well. Ugh, Poison Sting. E ah, ooh, ah. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could just run. I guess I'm just going to quick attack and hope that this works. Oh, okay. You know what? This, this battle just was just not in the in the cards, if I can be honest. That's, that's an 07 for me, man. Is the guy telling you which... Whoa! Hold up! Okay, someone said, Ryface, is the guy telling you which moves to keep? I've never had a Pokemon guide. Two? You're not saying two, right? It says, it says, I've never had a Pokemon guide. Okay, okay, it said, never had a Pokemon guide, capital I-I. And I was like, you are not using Roman numeral two in substitute of it. There's no way this has Game Freak intended. It is. This this is exactly what, what, the, what the guide says. God, I'm going to give this Meryl Silk Scarf, and it, it is probably going to be, like, the biggest heavy hitter on our team. Because that's Tackle. <laughs> Just wait until we give it Strength. Or when it eventually gets uh, double edge. But even strength is going to be great. There's no recoil on that, too. I'm using II as 2 and 2 and 2 from shorthand. That's insane. That is some insane person shit right there. Someone says, I love you. And you go, I love you, II. <laughs> that's... Oh, my God. That's sociopathic behavior right there. <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all are social. Y'all terrifying. No one should be doing that. What move did I delete? I've used defensive curl. Defense curl. But does the guide say to use items? Oh, I should heal. I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah, so I, this guide is actually helping me find some items because I am like the opposite of an explorer. I am not a secret hunter. I just hold forward and find the end of the game and then say game sucked <laughs> because I didn't explore anything. So I just learned that, uh, okay, first off, let's get the old rod. That's pretty good. I don't think we're going to use it, but at least we have it. Is this guide official? Oh, it sure is. Sure is. It's from Nintendo Power. Uh, do you have a preference for people calling you Jacob or Alpha Rad? Not really. I will say, it's, this is weird. Alpha Rad feels so formal. <laughs> For some reason. Just say, like, Jacob or Alpha. Either way. I Either work. Um, Alpha Rat is too much. Okay, so let's go in here and get Silk Scarf, though. Unless they're lying. Yo, if this has... Honestly, I'm going to get Silk Scarf here on, like, every run. 
Because that's a really good item. I didn't know it was just sitting in here. You can say Jacob Alpharad. I do accept that one, because it's like first name, last name. Which I, I don't know why. I don't know how that came to be. But it's pretty funny. Yeah, Meryl having a silk scarf and a huge power. That That's a pretty good team we just made. Uh, and now we get Sludge Bomb from someone in here. I'm stunning up on the hip and trinity absent walk now. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Yowza. I love that guy. This is the newest TikTok trend. The absent walk. <laughs> it's you just play a Doja Cat song and you're not in frame, but you say you're walking. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> It's not funny, but it's really funny to me. It's just it's just a Doja Cat song, but like the lights, you turn the light off on a specific part and there's no dancing in it at all. It's just silent. The absent walk. Honestly, a banger. That's coming out later. The alleged absent walk. Okay, I need I want to uh do you have sludge bomb? Did I really ask every trainer about the correct one? <laughs> what? Okay. So is it... Okay, so I guess... I guess it's not in here. Okay. <laughs> that was wrong. All right, well, let's go in. It's there after gym five. Okay, so hold up. Fl Welcome to the Granite Cave. Enjoy some flash action. Some areas of Granite Cave are extremely dark and dangerous. All right, we're getting flash. We're gonna absent walk and get this flash and a new party member, which is huge. Uh, I don't remember where Sableye is. Honestly, having a map is huge because now I just don't need to use Flash ever. Geodude, pretty, pretty mid. I'm, we need to get Grovile and fast. Because Grovile, when do you learn Leaf Blade? That's like the move I'm looking forward to. You get any flying mons? I do get I get Skarmory. Skarmory is on my team, which is awesome. The guide says to use flash. Uh it actually doesn't. <laughs> actually, it says uh you'll need the knuckle bats to use flash outside of battle. Venture deep into granite cave without light if you dare but don't get lost. So it actually is fine. This this is fair game. Okay, so let me look at the map. We went to A to A, got it. All right, I actually do have this entire map memorized because I just played this game so much as a kid, but uh, I know where to go. Yeah, I can raw dog the cave pretty easily. I, I just know where everything is. Uh, I even, without looking, I know that there is a Pokeball down here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now I'm looking at the map to double check, and I'm correct. And then, yeah. Yeah, honestly, Granny Cave is way easier. Groval gets Leaf Blade 29. Yeah. Does Guy mention nicknames? No, it does not. I love Aaron. <laughs> He's such a small guy. Um, uh, yeah. I like him. He's so tiny. He's actually... I think I might be uploading a video tomorrow. It is going to be Pokemon. It's going to be Gen 5. And and it's a fun little challenge. And Aaron's there, just so you know. So now he has something to look forward to. 
Aaron is going to be there, so you know it's going to be a good video. Oh, my accuracy's down. Okay, well, he's going to die in like two hits, so it's okay. Or I could get a crit, and that'd be huge. Crit would be nice. But it would be funny if I got it. <laughs> if he keeps saying, well, I don't know. I can only imagine the guy giving tips for nicknames like Tri and Trico names like Todico. <laughs> I feel like if the guy gave nicknames, it would be like, name him Pine Tree. <laughs> you know, like it would just be very like on the nose stuff. Name Torchic Chicken. It would just be something like that. Okay, so now you go, it's like a C shape from the bottom. Favorite pseudo-legendary dragon type? That narrows it down to like four. Uh, if I can be real with you, my favorite pseudo-legendary is probably Dragapult. Probably Dragapult, Salamence. Uh, yeah, it's probably that. If I had to guess, like without thinking about them all. Uh, I guess Dragonair. Oh, Sableye! Nice! We gotta catch him. Somehow. Oh, we can. Oh, he doesn't have any weaknesses in this gym, which is nice. But Sableye's moveset, like his learn pool, is actually abysmal. No Gudra love. I'm not a huge Gudra fan. I get it, though. I get why people like Gudra. I get why people like Gudra. Just not for me. I, see, I feel pretty neutral in Gudra. Uh, yeah, Dragonair is definitely, like, one of my favorites. So, um, Game Freak was afraid of Sableye being good until Mega Evolve. It's mainly Prankster, right? Like, Sableye having Prankster is what makes him good. Like, Mega's good, too, but, like... Oh, my God, McChicky12 just said, Are people horny for Gudra? So, okay, I was you three weeks ago during our Twitch Plays Pokemon stream. Um, but, yes... People are horny for Gudra, and I... Well, think about it. It's gooey, right? That's it. Uh, more R34 of Gudra than Greninja. And I think that says all you need to know, and you don't need to look further. Yeah, so I was shocked. I was shocked to learn this. Chat informed me, and I have not done the ample research myself yet, but I was shocked. I, de I definitely was not prepared for that. Wait! Oh, did I just... I didn't catch Sableye, did I? I just zoned out. I was I was talking about much bigger things. Right? Chat didn't even say, Hey, you killed Sableye. No one noticed. <laughs> no one noticed. Okay, we'll, we'll have to... <laughs> Sableye's not, like, common in here. Yeah, no one even noticed. Everyone was focused on the porn of, of Gudra. All right. Yeah, we're, we're busy. We'll find it. We are all taken back from Gudra. That is very true. Also, I think the biggest chore of this run is that I'm not using any speed up, like Game Freak intended. But it's just shocking to me that, like, we if we were using speed up, we'd be at, like, fighting Norman at this point. Like, what? Two hours into stream? Yeah, speed up, you get to Norman already. Give me Sableye. Give me Sableye. Yeah, we could be doing Gym 6. Yeah, this game with speed up goes by so fast. Oh, what's speed up? You can't do that without an emulator. No, 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 of course not. And we're not using an emulator. I'm saying, like, if hypothetically, let's say I was using an emulator, I would be doing speed up and it would be going a lot faster. But good thing I'm not. It'd be so funny if we had Sableye. Yeah, I'm just running here. I just need to find the Sableye. Out. We almost have a Grovile. I could be grinding, but I just want to get the Sableye. Honestly, not a lot of good Pokemon for Trico to grind on. 
Like, if it was just Geodudes and, like, Onyxes, oh, beautiful. But a lot, of, like, Zubat's pretty hard to deal with. Poison and Flying. And then, uh, what was the other one we keep running into? Aaron. Uh, just, just defensive. Sableye nearly solos Brawly. Uh, well, let me look at his uh, Pokemon moveset real quick. Uh... Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have a single move that can hit Stableye, does he? Gotcha. That's rather neat, I would say. I'm looking and Sableye stats are abysmal. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see something really funny? Look up Sableye Learn Set in Gen 3. It's It leaves a lot to be desired, to say the least. Can you give us your honest opinion on Gen 5? Uh, I think it slaps. I think the pixel art is phenomenal. I think the music is immaculate. Uh, the story and characters are great. It's just, I, I'm just not... Like, Gen 5 released as I was like getting out of Pokemon. So I think it's probably like the best gen. I think it's probably like the best game, but it's like where the biggest gap is in my knowledge, just because like it was, it came out when I was in like freshman year of high school or something. So it was like, oh, I now care about like being cool and I'm less interested in the things I actually like. So uh, yeah, it's just like, that's where the gap is in my, in my knowledge. I think, no, I think Black 2 White 2 came out like freshman year. So I think like seventh grade was when Black White came out. Yeah, and then you come back in when you're like, fuck you, I like this game, don't I? It's just you you kind of forget. But yeah, so black I think black and white are probably like they could be the best Pokemon game. I just really need to like give it more time. All right, I can't believe I killed that Sableye. That's so unfortunate. We were just too busy talking about Gudra. Aaron's back. Yeah, Gen 4, it was like, a, I was like getting out of it in Gen 4. Gen 5, I played through the games once and then I was done. Uh, and then I got back into it with Gen 6. And I was hard into it by Gen 7, 8. Sableye! Mudkip fan says, I'll get into One Piece if I get mod. I want to I wanna take you up on that, but I know that if I give you mod, now everyone's going to be offering to watch One Piece. But if everyone's super, no one is. I, I, I think I got I to pass on that deal. I'm sorry. Okay, but Gudra... <laughs> I, I like the green screen on this. It's a very... This is a very green guidebook. All right. I'm going to use the Great Ball. We have, we have a couple. Okay, so... Why? Why do you not stay in the ball? Okay, this time for sure. Okay, so after this, we got to get a letter to Stephen. Stephen is searching the deepest parts of Granite Cave for rare, rare can. What is is Sableye's catch rate low? Why is he not in? I'll try the Premier Ball. Find Stephen at point E on the map and give him the letter. Grateful for the delivery, Stephen will give you his favorite Pokemon move: TM forty seven Steel Wing. The mysterious man will then rush off. Don't worry, semicolon. You'll see him again. Spoilers, bro. It, it is low. Okay. Well, I gotta... I, I'll sack it. I'll sack it. I'll sack the Trico. I was gonna say, but he's gonna stay in the ball. 
then he didn't stay on the ball. Okay, Meryl, Meryl can catch this one. I, I trust him, Meryl. <sighs> All right. Meryl. We got 25 Pokeballs. I got all day. I actually do have all day. I have no plans. As far as... I, I'm pretty sure I don't have any plans. Yes! All right. And we're going to name it... Sableye. Yeah, that's it. The Darkness Pokemon. Uh, no nickname. What was it? Level 10? That's not too far behind. All right. And now we just go around... Wait, I want to see his move set right now. Uh, uh, Keen Eye prevents loss of accuracy. Leer's Scratch Fourth. It's like, night. I mean, honestly, Brawly straight up can't hit me, so I can just spam Nightshade and I'm good. I might, I might train on. I might grind on like some of his other trainers then. Uh, Makihita. Probably only normal fighting moves on this guy. I'm going to assume that he also can't hit Sableye. This is going to do uh, guaranteed 10 HP every time I use it. And you can only use Sand. We are in the perfect spot right now. Is grinding in the guidebook? Chat, we can't keep making that joke at every option that we do. Oh, well, is it in the guidebook to go left? Is it in the guidebook to use Nightshade right now? Chat, we have more than one joke. Prove, prove to me we have more than one joke. Hmm. Oh, he does have a ruby, sapphire, and emerald on his back, doesn't he? That is a fun fact. Thank you. I, I'm looking for all the fun facts in chat. Yeah, the, he just can't straight up cannot hit me. Then I have Keen Eye, which... What are Sableye's other abilities in this game? Because I know Prankster doesn't exist yet. Because Prankster's obviously his best ability. No, genuinely asking, can you grind on trainers? Uh, sure. I, like, a lot of the resets in the beginning were, like, more like, we're being silly in the beginning! And now it's kind of like, okay, uh, what, what are we gonna do? So, yeah, right now, I'm not, I don't, I don't really care. Like, if we happen to fight uh, additional trainers, we do, we, like, we have to, if we want our Pokemon to be a higher level. Yeah, dude, grinding without speed up sucks. Uh... But this is exactly how Game Freak intended the game to be. Bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so much time is wasted by playing vanilla Pokemon. I... I could not imagine playing vanilla Pokemon. I'm doing it this once. Just this once. Grinding without speed up. Chat! Do, oh my god, it says that we can hack in rare candy so we don't have to grind anymore. Do you agree? Chat, do we agree? Yeah, we agree, right? It says it, it, says it right here, chat. It says it right here. Confirmed. We we agree, right? We we agree that it says that, right? The guy says so. Woo! Yeah, let's go, guys. It's pretty base. Show the evidence. It says right there. Actually, it, it says right here. You might not be able to read it because it's green screen out, but it's it's there. It's there. Don't worry. Oh wait, he's attacking me. Oh, it deals one damage. Okay, got it. I was a little scared for a second. Oh, I've been confused. That makes sense. That sucks. Doesn't is that no? I was like, I thought like, isn't that super effective? He's dark type, but then I remember ghost, and then it's just like, Sableye has no weaknesses. Duh. Um, okay, and now we get to meet Steven Stone, and look how tiny he is. Tiny puny. Game's over. All right. 
So now he gives us his favorite move, Steel Wing, which that's going to be an excellent addition to our Skarmory that we inevitably uh, eventually get, assuming that he doesn't just learn it naturally. But I mean, he's probably the only one who could learn it anyway, so we'll just give it to him. Because why not? He gets a good Steel type move. All right, and now we have his phone number. Weird. He walked a foot. What is your party going to look like? So for anyone just tuning in, uh, there's a sample team right here. It shows us what a good team looks like. And it says Sceptile, Azumarill, Sableye, Medectric, Skarmory, Heracross. And they're like, these are the correct Pokemon to get. So um, oh, I'm just going to run away from this. This is going to take too long. RC has ruined Pokemon for me. Genuinely, I, I agree. Because after I played Legends Arceus, I got on like a little big Pokemon kick. And I started, I played, I replayed all of Omega or Alpha Sapphire. And I was like, you know, I love Gen 3. I'm going to, I'm getting really nostalgic with this game. I'm having a good time. I might try and do like a living Dex. And then I like try to catch one Pokemon that wasn't in my initial party. I go, this sucks. And I gave up. I didn't even catch like two. <laughs> Where is Heracross in this? Uh, he's a rare catch in the Safari Zone, correct? Can someone double check on that? I, I've been told that, but I'm not completely sure. Well, that's where I should get that. So what makes this run different? Uh, I am playing it exactly how the guidebook intends me to do. Uh, I'll be honest, thought this would be a little more interesting, but uh, I can make this a video. I can script it and it'll be funny. Okay, let's go back to Brawly though. Um, recommended move types, Flying Psychic. We have neither of those. Awesome. But again, his team literally cannot hit Sableye. <laughs> so I think we'll be fine. Yeah, you can definitely do a lot of the dry reads. Yeah, I'll figure it out. It'll be good. I think like watching me do this whole playthrough over like 15 hours is definitely going to be a lot more taxing than watching me condense it to a like a 12 to 15 minute video <sighs> all right uh so I would like to get Trico to a Grovile at least, because we yeah, have Brawly's level 19. So I actually do remember the full path, I'm pretty sure. Don't I? Isn't this the Brawly path? No, I'm wrong. Okay, good. I was like, I hope it's not. I think you go right up, maybe? I don't remember. I think with like when the Brawly's gym, like I never remember it. I just go on what my heart s tells me to, and every time I'm right, so. It's been good enough so far. Um, I don't really have a lot here. We're too close on level for me to be able to just, like, wipe him. I could switch train. I could switch train quite easily, actually. Um, Alpha, why do you always make your face cam that big? I don't know. I mean, I just think it has, like, a bit more personality. I think I'm a very expressive person. I talk with my hands. I Like, I could be like everyone else and be like, Hello! Small. But, like, if I was probably playing something... With, like, Sonic Boom, I was small and tiny because, like, there's so much we need to focus on with the game. But, like, over here, it's just I'm playing Pokemon. Like, we're good. We're, we're good. You, like... Oh, look, I'm blocking Scratch. I wonder if it still says Scratch. You know it. Pokemon's a game where I can get away with it. I think it's cooler than how most people do it. So my favorite thing about my face cam is that, like, right here, like, this box is, like, reserved for the face cam. There's, like, boom. Oops. I'm, like, in the game. I'm, like, over the game. I'm, like, a weatherman. Look, Makihita's fucking dying at 7 o'clock today. Whoa. I think, I think it's cool to be able to... I'm trying to run. 
Uh, I want to get another green screen because it ends right here. So you see, like, my hand starts to disappear. I, I would, I have another green screen at my house. I just, and in, it's in, inside. I'm, what, whatever. Um, and I would like to be able to just grab Makihita. So I, I need one more green screen so I can go the distance. And I would like to, I would like to go that far. So I, I just like being able to be in front. It adds depth. I like being a little weatherman in my little stream inside my house. All right. Isn't this Brawly? Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, I want to fight more. Getting extra green screens to directly flip off NPCs. I, I can grab her tiny foot, but just barely. Uh, oh, no, oh, she escaped. <laughs> oh, a great tragedy. Okay, Meditite, let's uh, switch and save a lie. I guess he can take everyone. I slowly come to the conclusion that Alfred's brand is just doing whatever he wants that isn't inherently cancelable and getting away with it. That's fair. I think it's, I think I'm a, despite as bad shit insane as I might be, I'm pretty unproblematic, which I think is like, it's funny that those go hand in hand. I've done pretty good for my entire YouTube career just staying in my own lane. You know? I haven't really had beef with anyone. I, I just I just be doing my own things. And sometimes it is being batshit insane, but that's like a me thing, you know? I'm not hurting nobody. Just myself. I, damn it! That came off wrong. I'm not. I'm doing great. Just a little insane, insane, but in a fun way. Like a Chris McLean from Total Drama Island. That's the kind of insane I thrive to be. I'm insane, but in a fun way. That's someone in... <laughs> the kind of person who says that is definitely insane in a bad way, though. Curse out Ludwig, start some beef. I don't want to. I just don't want to do beef with anyone. I don't even want to do fake beef with anyone. I hate that. I just don't... I just don't want beef. I just want to play my silly little games, make my silly little videos, and then log the fuck out. Uh, can you confirm or deny? Did you get a Ridge Wallet sponsorship? I don't think so. I've never gotten one, actually. But I also don't check my emails. That's someone else's job. So if, if you're like a rep from Ridge Wallet, uh, I don't think so. I, I haven't gotten notified of one. Want to get canceled in record speed? Just start yelling at Jaden? What does that mean? Is that a cancelable act? I wouldn't do that. I think she's a nice person. But... Trico! What if he was Grovile? Imagine how cool that would be. Wait, is this in the guidebook? Uh, wait, uh... It's okay. It's fine. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We can have Grovile. It's actually very okay. All right. Whew. That was close. Uh, oh, Fury Cutter. Woo, what an awesome move. Uh, what was this? 10? <laughs> it, wait, it intensifies on each successive hit? I didn't know that. How much? I'll get rid of Pound, at least, so I have some type coverage. Why did it take you till Brawny to evolve Trico? Because I'm impatient, I'm not grinding. And mind your own business. It doubles each time? Whoa, I didn't know that. So 20, 40, ooh, whoa. Grovile is still, like, a top-tier mid-evolution. Like, there aren't a lot of good mid-evolutions, but Grovile's definitely, like... I think Grovile's the best. It might be Mystery Dungeon Bias. I think Grovile's based. Um, Grovile and Duwat, I think, are the two best mid evolutions. I feel like if the anime never existed, Grovile would be forgotten. It's not the anime for me, it's Mystery Dungeon. But also, just it's a base Pokemon. Quillava? I like Quillava. Yeah, I do. Uh. 
What do we want to do? I'm going to try Fury Cutter. I just want to, I want to see how that one works. Gorvile is so cool. Ivysaur is decent in Medievo. Ivysaur is a smash effect for me. I can't see it as a Pokemon. It's two Smash Bros for me. Oh, that did not do much. Oh, well, it did 12 HP, actually. Specifically. Actually, I'm just going to focus the Meditite right now. Let's use a Fury Cutter. Oh, wait, it only... Okay. So I thought it was like a multi-hit. So no, it's base power 10. And if I use it again, it's 20, then 40, then 80, then 160. That is that really how that move works? I feel like you could make a funny little team with that if you had like instruct. I don't think it'd be good, but that could be funny. Oh yeah, that was definitely big damage. That's why Fury Cutter's bad. I get that it's bad, but I was like, how do you make it cool? Like, you could make it good. Reboot is a good mid-evo. Honestly, huge agree. Reboot's a banger mid-evolution. Yeah, I think Duwatts. I could make a mid-evo list, because I feel like that's a... I'm not going to say, like, controversial thing. It's just, like, just... They all kind of... Like, they're kind of supposed to be the awkward puberty phase Pokemon. Like, they don't have to be cool to be good, but some of them definitely are. I think most of them are just like, who cares? Uh, make way for Astonish, that's 30 base power. It can flinch, I'll just get rid of Leer. Ivysaur is a great Medivo. I think the whole Bulbasaur line is kind of like, it's all too samey for me. You know, like Torchic and a Blaziken, you're like, whoa, that makes sense, but how cool? Whereas like Bulbasaur and a Venusaur, I'm just like, He's bigger. Like, at least Charizard got wings, you know? Oh, but yo. Look at this Fury Cutter. Ooh. Ooh, look at that damage. War Turtle may be a bit basic. Ah, I just don't care for War Turtle. To be fair, all Blastoise gets is a literal gun. That's a lot for Gen 1. Gen 1 literally had Pokeballs, piles of sludge, <laughs> and snakes. Like, Gen 1 had so many Pokemon that we accept now because they're Gen 1. But, like, you see Arbok and you're like, it's a fucking Cobra. You know? Like, there. I think Gen 1 has a lot of Pokemon like that. Especially when I made my tier list, I really thought of, like, there are so many Pokemon in here that just exist because they could, you know? Gen 1 was definitely testing the waters. Gen 1 had seal, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Gen 1 and 2 had weak designs. I feel like... Okay. So... I, I'm like... I'm 26, right? Uh, When I was like... I played Gen 1 and 2, but... Pokemon Ruby Sapphire came out when I was in the first grade. And that was like, I played Gen 1, I played Gen 2, but Ruby Sapphire was like my Pokemon, you know? That was my game. But and everyone was like, oh, Gen 3 sucks. And then Gen 4 comes out there, they go, ah, Gen 4 sucks. And here we are, Sword and Shield, and they go, ah, Gen 8 sucks. Like, it's just gonna happen. It's always gonna happen. Now we look back and we'd be like, oh, Gen 5 was probably one of the best Pokemon games. But when it came out, people hated it. That's, they went to models afterwards. That's your fault for complaining about Gen 5. Now it looks like shit. We could have gotten pixels forever. Maybe. That would have been nice. I hate to be a boomer, but Gen 8 is my least favorite design-wise. Huge L. Honestly, Gen... Oh yeah, people hated Gen 5. But Gen 8 has some bangers. Like, I think Gen 8 is probably, like, the best Pokédex we've had in, like, oh, I don't know how long. I mean, I'm biased with Gen 3, but honestly, like, Gen 8 has some of the best designs. I don't even think it's bad. Yeah, I don't even think Gen 8's bad. I think, one, it's good, 
and they just have some insanely good hits. Uh, Grim Snarls, yeah, good. Hatterene, Corviknight, obviously. I Dracovish is a weird little guy. I like him a ton. Uh, you also have the whole like Hatterene line. I like Hatrim a lot. I think the starters, okay. I think some of the starters are good. I think Inteleon sucks. I think Rillaboom's good. I love I love Cinderace. He grew on me a lot. Uh, Reboot's also insane. Um, and then what? You, you have some others. I think Copperaha missed. That's a mid. That's such a who cares Pokemon. Uh, you have Appleton, huge, true. You have Flapple, great. Uh, you have Jenny has the best Pika clone. More Peko? I'm not. I'm not a More Peko fan, but I see it. I think it's good. Al Creamy, Cramorant. Oh, true, true. Um, I'm trying to think of like some of the others. Because Gen 8, I think all around Gen 8 spits bangers nonstop. S oh, like Sizzlipede. Yeah. Centiscorch, banger. Phalanx, Hatterene, Surfetch. Yeah, I'm I'm just not an Inteleon fan. He's my least favorite of the starters. Oh, Toxtricity, not a fan, but like I see why people like him. Yeah, yeah you have Colossal. Grapple locked. Yeah, honestly, bangers. Do you ever just feel... Do you ever forget that certain Pokemon are in certain gens? I thought Durant was like a Gen 8 Pokemon, and then I recently found out he was in Gen 5, and that, that just feels really wrong to me for some reason. Gen 7 has Vicavol, Decidueye, Salazzle, Alone, and Executor. Yeah, I like Gen 7 just fine, but like I do feel like all of my... like. Gen 8 was a game I loved the Pokédex from, like, the first playthrough. I was like, which I think that's hard to do. Okay, so what do I want? Do I want Meryl in the lead here? Maybe. Maybe. Leader Brawly would like to battle. He's in up my shop. Cool. He's going to have a lot of fun when I just switch to the Pokemon he cannot hit. Do you have any tips? Uh, the do for Pokemon Gym is shrouded in darkness. Trainers of fighting type Pokemon own their skills in the shadows. You must defeat three trainers before you reach Brawly. What? That's not true. That's just not true. <laughs> When you enter Do for Gym, you can see only a small radius around you after you defeat each trainer. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we did defeat three trainers, to be fair. So, that's good. If the cat gets up on two legs, I'm uppercutting. Yeah, so, like, uh, w w what is the name? I always know it. Weed Cat's name. Uh, Sprigatito. It's, it's gonna stand up. It's gonna stand up whether we want it to or not. But here's the thing. What scared me so much was, like, if the cat stands up, we know what's going to happen. And then, after being on Twitter for a little too long, I realized it doesn't matter if the cat stands up. People are going to be weird anyways. It, it's going to happen. We have no control over it. We've already lost. Favorite Ultra Beast? Uh, Buswell. Easy. Not even close. This is a very bulked up Machop, but I think he's doing that because uh, he cannot hit me. This is why I was supposed to have Sableye on my team. Game Freak, I, I get it now. I see what you're putting down. Oh, and he's gonna heal over again. <laughs> Nightshade. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Big fan of Pepper Dragon. Thoughts on possible new evolution? Uh, I would like. Honestly, if I could pick any evolution, I would want. Okay, so I saw one fan art of. 
a a ground Eevee and they went like a super Egyptian theme. It was like, I think it was like Pharion. They probably wouldn't do that because it's too close to Flareon, but it's like a Pharaoh-eon. I thought that was really cool, but I would like them to do a dragon Eevee because one, easy to tie into lore. Two, cool. Three, it would round out that, um, and like before the Jin, the, so how I remember like the physical special thing in this game, because you know, like any water move is always going to be special, even if it should be physical. Uh, what was it? Every single evolution is special. It's all evolutions plus dragon are specials in like Gen 3 and earlier. Dragon was physical? Really? Oh, then never mind. Then I guess all special is just all the evolutions. Oh. Dragon, yeah, dragon is special. Yeah, okay, I was right. Yeah, okay. One person was wrong and a million people corrected them. Awesome. So, yeah. All dragon was special, but all dragons were physical. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Yeah, I think like if they made a dragon Eevee, then every single type that was special in the original games would have an evolution and fairy, which is honestly a, like a pretty special uh, type anyway. So like, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. And I think it would make a lot of sense. If they do make a new type though, like let's say uh, light, plasma, sound, space, you know, like if they make any of those types, we're probably getting a new Eevee on that though. Like that's kind of how I see it. It's like new type means new Eevee every, every time. We like, we got one for dark, not steel, but we did get one for like fairy. It would have made a lot of sense to make a dragon Eevee in gen six. <laughs> Could you imagine? They introduced Sylveon and then a dragon Eevee and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, this one sucks compared to this one. That would, that would have been so unfortunate. Yeah, Fairy gets Sylveon. Yeah, grass. Someone said, what about grass and ice? Glaceon, Leafeon, did you, did, did you forget? Did you forget? Those definitely do exist. That's what happened with Umbreon and Espeon. Wait, you're right. I was about to say, it's not like Dark has an immunity. It... Yes, yeah, Psychic can't hit Dark, yeah. Actually, they literally did do that, didn't they? That's fucked. You think they'll ever give a two-stage Evo for normal Eevee? I don't, I don't want bigger normal Eevee. I don't want that. So I hope they don't. I'm down for a sound type. I actually have this Google Doc of like, <laughs> I, I have no reason to make this video. I want them, I want them to make a space type. And I feel like they can make a really cool assortment of Pokemon with space type. But it's such a waste because it should have been done in Sun and Moon. Ultra Beast should have been space type. And I think you could include like Deoxys, make him space type, even space psychic if you want. I think space type would have been so cool because you just have like a lot of weird alien looking guys and you go, what, what is that? Uh, I think like Deoxys Bahiam, obviously, and then just all Ultra Beasts. That would have been awesome. I, I think space is the sickest type that they could include, but they missed their shot. They should have had it in Gen 7. They should have had it in Gen 7. Clefairy could be fairy space. That's badass. It's a little alien. Yeah, is it? Is it Astral? Astral is fine. Like, I, I mean, it means the exact same thing. But, like, space would have been so cool. It would have been so cool. Wolfie made a good point for sound. I saw a Wolfie sound video, and I get it. It's just sound is not as interesting. Because when I say, when you hear sound... <laughs> the sentence sounds funny. But when I say sound type Pokemon, like... I feel like the visual isn't as interesting as space type Pokemon, you know? I think mine just comes from like a, this would be cool. Yeah. Astral does sound cooler. It's just harder to say, but it does sound cooler. Ain't space like Palkia stuff? Yeah, just go ahead and make Palkia like space dragon. They won't. 
they will never go back and change stuff. Like, by that logic, they should... I think... Hear me out. Gen 7. Include Ultra Beast, bring back Deoxys, and have him as, like, like a gateway between them, and then retroactively make him Psychic Space, and then you don't have to touch any of the others. Because, like, changing Pokemon types is hard to do, and, like, they only did it with, like, Steel... I don't think they made any Gen 1 Pokemon Dark, though. It's made really only Steel and Fairy, because everything got rehauled to Fairy. They have changed some types, but they haven't done it to Legendaries, is what I'm saying. Because they made a... Yeah, they sure did make a bunch Fairy type, though. Yeah, they... They retconned a bunch to Fairy, and I'm sure they'll retcon a bunch to Space, but I feel like Legendaries and Starters are different, you know? I, I feel like that's a lot. Oh my god, this battle's gonna take a while. Well, that's exactly... Brutatic got a dark version. I'm not talking about regional variants. I'm talking about, like, the OGs. We don't need any more types, but that's just me. Yeah, I mean, we don't. The game's fine. We don't need it. If we get a new type, one of the starter Evos will be it. I don't think that's true. That didn't happen with Fairy type. What, it was like Water Dark fighting, or Fire Psychic Grass fighting? Didn't Gardevoir change types? She was Mono Psychic, now she's Psychic Fairy, which is such a good typing. We need a new type so Arceus is weak to cement. I say keep it, it's funny. I guess I'm just gonna keep doing this. Oh my god, this is gonna take so long. It's like... Playing Pokemon without speed-ups, it really just reveals a lot of this game's issues. And, hey! I know it's taking a while, but we're playing it exactly how Game Freak intended. By not having fun. Oh, okay. All right. Makuhita used Reversal. Doesn't affect Sableye. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Is it still Brawly? Yes, it is. Can you use Nightshade? Uh, no. I, I would if I could, but we've used them all already. I am a little hungry, though. I am getting a little hungry. I think I might play to Watson. Maybe. Maybe to Watson. We're so close. We, we are so, so desperately close. Maybe just two more scratches. Did you get Hibachi? What? Can you... Does Hibachi deliver well? I've, I've never delivered Hibachi. I didn't even know you could. I've never done that before, but that sounds like a banger. Get Whataburger? I live in California. Shits. I can't. Can't. Unfortunate. Hey, we beat Brawly. Awesome. All right. And now we gotta go all the way to Slateport City. Isn't Sableye rock type? No. No, he's not. Yeah, Astonish is, is 20 base power. Uh, I guess Scratch, is, it probably would have been strong. Well, actually, no, that's not true. It wouldn't have been. Yeah, Astonish sucks. I just thought it was like it could make him flinch or something. But I guess like if he's not damaging us, that flinch really does nothing anyways. Ah. <sighs> 
What is the Pokemon that has a type that doesn't make sense? Hmm. Uh, I'm sure someone else has examples. I can't really think of any. Um, Palkia being water. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I... I can loosely understand the logic, but I don't think that's, like, accurate. Lugia not being water type. That always messes me up. He should be water flying. I mean, water psychic, even. Like, if he has wings, who cares? Like, Flygon isn't flying type. Why isn't Charizard dragon type? Uh, would you want Charizard to be fire dragon or dragon flying? I guess same thing. Like, he is flying type, but he doesn't have it. It's just, I think it's because he's a starter. Like, imagine if Gen 1 of the only dragon types were, like, the legendary Dragonite line and Charizard. Then it's just like, well, why wouldn't I pick Charizard? I, I get, from a balanced perspective, I get why they didn't make Charizard dragon. But, like, yeah, he should have been dragon. At least Charizard X is dragon, you know? Like, I think that's... They, 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 like, it's a compromise. I think Mega Sceptile being dragon was, like, something I didn't see coming. That's pretty cool. Also, do we have fairy dragon types yet? I, I feel like it's coming. I feel like Gen 9 has a dragon fairy type in it. Because that's going to be pretty cool. I think Mega Altaria, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Altaria, but Mega Altaria. Yeah. Okay. So now we're in Slate Port City. And it says, uh, avoid everything here. We, we are we are just going to deliver the goods. Because that's what they told us to do. Which is right here. Okay. We deliver the goods. And then our next stop is the museum. Hot take. I like Charizard Y more. Uh, I disagree. I like, I, X is like a top 10 Pokemon for me. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Isn't that what you do? What? I thought you gave him, oh, do I have to interact with them first? Maybe? I, I thought you just talked to him. Oh, wait, I talked to the table? Oh, okay, got, got it. I'm a table talker, what can I say? I definitely thought... Okay, not my brightest moment. Shiny Charizard Y though? Dude, okay, so my favorite design in any character is always gonna be blue fire. Like that's just a thing that works on me every single time. And what can I say? They gave Charizard blue fire. I think he's pretty cool. Yeah, sorry, I'm not a Charizard Y fan. I, I like, Charizard X was literally made to pander to people. It was just supposed to be stereotypically cool. And it worked on me. What can I say? It, they designed it to market to people and I was marketed to. I have no shame in that. I'm just saying that it worked. Okay. Uh, it does not t say anything that's in here. So, uh... Oh, actually, it does say talk to the grunt and get TM46. It doesn't tell me which grunt to talk to. It, it just says to get it. Or do I have to wait until they're done? Oh. There you go. You got TM46. Someone's asking me One Piece related questions of recent chapters. I will talk about One Piece on stream, but I do not talk about recent chapters. It's just, it's just, I don't want to do that to people. I don't want to spoil people on accident. We cannot talk about 1048. I have too many people who watch this who are probably not caught up or don't watch it, but I don't want to spoil them in case they start watching it. Yeah, so I'm not going to talk about One Piece stuff. So let's not, I don't really talk about, like, I will talk about characters throughout One Piece. Like, I'll mention characters like, like, say, Jinbei. You know, like, I'll talk about Jinbei. I'll talk about Carrot. You know, like, I'll mention these characters, but I won't talk about what happened in chapter 1044. That was a pretty big chapter, you know? Yeah, I think, like, the furthest I'll really go talking about One Piece, like, in great detail, is probably, like, Annie's Lobby. Maybe. It might be a little further. Maybe Thriller. I think it probably stops 
at uh, after Saba Odi. I actually I think Saba Odi is like the furthest I'll talk about. What was your opinion on Usopp when he was introduced? Didn't like him. I like actually hated Usopp. He was like bottom of every character list. But then in his lobby happened and then he was like poof. I still like a lot of other Straw Hats more, but I really like Usopp. Thoughts on Nami Uranus theory? Uh, I don't know the theory. Haven't seen it. But just by those words alone, I'm like, no shot. I'll, I'll look into it, though. Hygrophile. I'm fighting now. Because I think, like, anybody watching this, they'll kind of see me and they'll be like, oh, look, that's kind of interesting. Like, he's, like, kind of... I can't see shit, but, like, he's standing, like, in front of the screen. Like, oh, that's... There's, there's some depth here. And then I feel like I always surprise people when I, like, lean in. Like, I feel like people never expect me to go this far. You know? But then I, I can't go too far. So, like, I, I have my limits. I'm still immortal at the end of the day. Luffy became my favorite char yeah, character. Dude, it's like... One Piece is so good. They give you so many side characters to fall in love with. But Luffy is still, like, a top five character on everybody's list. Usopp is growing on me, but he's still, like, a bottom three straw hat. I mean, even if he's, like, a bottom three straw hat, like, all the straw hats are great. Like, the only straw hats I don't really like... Uh, I think Brooke is, like, cool because he's, like, you know, a cool skeleton music and all that like he has a cool backstory but i i hate just his character of just like asking to see every woman's panties and having uh it's it's because he doesn't have skin no <laughs> my god we get it um but whatever i think i i can tolerate brooke he does cool things but i do really like uh i just don't like chopper because he screams like he's so much better in the manga than he is in the anime Kata Curry's your favorite side character, uh, based. Who is my favorite side character? Probably Smoker. I think of all the, like, the side characters, probably Smoker is my favorite. I Smoker Buggy. Yeah, probably Smoker. Like, my favorite characters are, like... Uh, I mean, I do really like Ace, too, but you, you just don't really get to know him, you know? He's just so distant. I just like his aesthetic, and I like Ace, right? I mean, haha. <laughs> like, I, I just like the word Ace itself. Ace of Hearts, right? It's Ace of Hearts. Get it? Like, oh, look. Ah, ah, ah. Didn't, didn't see you as a buggy guy? Buggy is... is he's probably like... Wait, let me let me see. I, I I made like a character tier list. I don't. Th I think I can talk about this without it being like massive spoilers. Um, let me see what my last character tier list was. Um, let me see. Let me see. My last character tier list was, uh, Law, Nami, Dofi. Robin, Luffy, Ace, Zoro, Hancock, Sanji, Rebecca, Buggy, Corazon, Usopp, Perona, Kiros, and L. Kid. So like that that was kind of like my list. It it's it looks different now. For yeah. But A. I, I gotta redo it. I gotta redo my character list soon. Hancock, dude, Vivi's up there. Hancock is like, I think Boa Hancock is like a character everyone can like when they first watch it. But then like, it just, she is just so static and every other character is interesting. So uh, she just keeps falling. Robin would, pre time skip, Robin's my favorite character. Post time skip, they just don't let her, they don't let her ball. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Robin to ball. Okay, that's enough One Piece for this stream. <laughs> I could talk about One Piece for an entire stream, but we're, we're going to end it right there. Okay, so now step three, 
register Scott in our Poking app. It's going great so far. Um, then we go to the battle tent. Okay. We're going to go to the battle tent. I, I've probably never been to the battle tent before. Um, oh, oh, okay. It's, it's for the contest and stuff. We don't have to. Oh my, okay. But why hasn't I need screen time so she keeps going down? I mean, I have... I have a certain character pretty high up on my list. And, uh... Like, I don't think you have to have screen time to be high. Because, you know, like, I even think characters like, you know, like, Smoke or Mihawk are based, right? Like, people put Shanks in, like, their, like, top five characters. So... Okay. Uh, so, at the battle tent, speak with the sailor left of the desk. He'll give you torment, blah, 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 blah. But what scares me is that it says, once you enter it, you'll be loaned three Pokemon for a single battle. With each successive win, you'll have the option to trade one Pokemon of your choice. And then it says, flex your trainer muscles and try to win three battles in a row. <sighs> All righty then. I know what we're doing. <laughs> Chat's not gonna let me get away from that challenge, right? Like, you're not gonna let me back down. All right. I don't really like bug Pokemon, but maybe I'll try using some for a change of pace. Who knows? I'm... What an open-minded guy. So, like, I couldn't find myself Pokemon that were, like, for me. So I figured, like, hey, I should... I should file a complaint to the guy there. And he wouldn't hear me out. Like, hey? So, like, total bummer, man. Hey, like, you. Zip it, you know? Just, like, y you know, take this. Dialogue. Um, that, that's like TM41, you know? Hey, it's, um, Torment, you hearing me? Like, um, it won't l let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Um, so, hey now, you listen here, like, um, I'm not laying a Torment... I sound like Cher from Clueless. Perfect. It's kind of what I was aiming for. No human speaks like this? Oh my god, go to a bar in LA. Oh my fucking god, dude. Alright. So... I went to a bar in LA once, only once, I've been multiple times, but for the story, once, I sit down with a group of people, I'm sitting down next to a girl, I don't know her, she looked like she didn't know anyone else, so I start making small talk. I don't fucking know who she is. I'm just trying to make her feel included in the group. This girl was dumb as shit. Um, she... <laughs> I try not to be super judgmental, but I'm sorry. And, okay, I gotta tell the story before we progress. She said, she was like, I was like, what do you do? And I was like, I, I do like content stuff, which usually I lie. I just said content, pretty, pretty vague. And she goes, oh, I said, what do you do? She goes, I'm a personal assistant. So, um, what do you do? And I said, I do content. She goes, like YouTube and I go yeah yeah I like YouTube and she like like we're talking like this right and then she like full body rotates at me and goes I love YouTube it's just like uh huh <laughs> and then conversation really didn't go anywhere further from there but I just can never stop thinking about her going, I love YouTube. And I'm like, awesome, man. <laughs> Good for you. She didn't even say like YouTuber. It was just like YouTube. That thought's never left my head. Every time anyone says, oh, I love YouTube or I like YouTube. It just her voice echoes in my head. She was definitely there with, like, another guy and was, like, trying to make plans with me. And I was like, I'm busy every single night you want to hang out. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's just... 
That's just how it be. I mean, what can I say? Bitch love YouTube. <laughs> what more do you need? <laughs> it was Susan in disguise. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. I, I gotta pick my team. Rental Pokemon. Um, There's two Cacneos. Uh, it doesn't give me any advice here. So we gotta win three battles in a row. Are you glad you moved to LA? Yeah, I've had a lot of fun. I get fun stories like that all the time. Uh, <laughs> I think we'd take the double Cacnea, right? No, I'm gonna go, I think actually Kadabra is a pretty insane Pokemon in something like this. I think Lombre is too. They want me to win. I need a flex. I wanna see what moves he has actually. Um, Leaf Sheet, Pin Missile, Sandstorm, Spark Substitute, Fake Tears. Oh, this Cacti is actually funny. Uh, using Ingrain, Poison Sting, and then when they finally... Uh, I think, I think the plus is pretty decent, but I just think Destiny Bond is really funny. I, th I think it having Destiny Bond is good. It's funny. Dub doubled up on grass. Uh, whatever. But I, I do think it's funny. What will I be tomorrow? Whoa, lady, I just met you. I don't know. I don't have these questions. I don't have these answers for you. <laughs> that is so much to just dump on someone like that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Makuhita. Oh my God. Red like a fucking... I don't... Okay, okay. I didn't see any psychic moves at first. Do I still have Switch on? Or is it set in these battles? Okay, it's set. Gotcha. Uh, Kecleon. Um... I'm just gonna use Reflect. Okay. Astonish. Well, that sucks. I did everything right. I could have, I could have attacked it. I just, I just thought I was fine. Okay. Well, what is this nature power? It's okay. What is nature power inside? Lead with Destiny Bond? That's not good, though. I love critical hits. Glass Cannon? Yeah, I know that Cadaver's, like, physically weak, but I still thought, like... Is it Swift? Uh, I could hit... Uh, I don't really have anything. Do I have any combos on this one? Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, actually, Ingrain doesn't do anything. Fuck. All right, I'm going to do this. If worse comes to worse, I'm sending out Cacnea. I, I reflect up. Honestly, I should be fine. Unless he, like, crits again. Poison, Sandstorm, and Grain. Yeah, I can do that. But I, I think Cacnea is, is a Hail Mary. Actually, he shouldn't be a Hail Mary if he has Destiny Bond. Guess I can absorb. I could also growl if I really wanted to. Yeah, Sandstorm, Sandvale. Yeah, like Cacnea's honestly, that Cacnea's pretty decent, if I can be honest. Lick. Ow. I'm paralyzed. That sucks. Yeah, that Cadaver was toast. That Kek I should have swapped out. I didn't, I didn't think he had Faint Attack and <laughs> Pursuit and... Astonish and Lick. Oh no. Dude, this Kecleon is stacked. Jesus. Oh, I thought I used uh, Swift. Oh, I was paralyzed, wasn't I? Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. Whew. Okay, all right. Uh, let's sandstorm here. So 
So Cacnea, he pretty much has Snow Cloak, but for Sandstorm. So like his evasion goes up now. And now we just uh, pray. We're gonna ingrain. We're gonna be real fucking annoying, actually. That's our game plan right now. All right, and now we're gonna ingrain. <sighs> yeah, we are gonna be irritating. Yes, sir, he's missing moves. There's a set amount of turns in these fights. I don't think so. I think that's like Battle Frontier, maybe, what you're thinking of. He is grass type right now, so this is gonna be super effective for now. Uh, it doesn't matter. The next one's not. Him getting poison would be really nice. I'm just going to keep poison seeing the poison type, which isn't great. My defense is down, though, so that sucks. That was a lot. Let's just hope he can't hit me. And if he gets close to it, I destiny bond. I'm faster. Poison sting. I'll be honest, I have never gone into a battle tent in the entirety of playing Pokemon Emerald. I thought these were contests. The guidebook taught me something new today. What can I say? Is your sword Final Fantasy? Oh, the sword, the shirt? Yeah, it's Final Fantasy. I didn't know there was a battle tent. Yeah, it's news to me. I thought it was contests like Ruby Sapphire. I didn't know they changed it. Poison. All right. It's from Summit? Yeah, it's from Summit. Got chat, I don't, I don't think, I don't know we, I, I don't know if we win these. I could Destiny Bond here, but I kind of want to see if it's possible to bring Cacnea into the next one. If he keeps missing, this is going to be fine. Standard playthrough, not a Nuzlocke. Uh, so we're using a guidebook. So it, no speed up. No, nothing, just us going on a journey together. What's your favorite Final Fantasy? Sounds basic. Uh, I, so, ee, ee, okay, I'll answer that in a second. Oh my god, we are so not winning this. Oh, we need like an insane, we need him throw out a water type next. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Uh, I can't look. Oh, no, he's paralyzed. Oh, did I do the sandstorm go away? Oh, I should have done that. You're allowed to say seven. <laughs> Has anyone seen the new Tifa statue? I have, and I'm not getting it. Tifa is probably like my favorite video game character of all time, and it's too, I, I don't like sexualized statues or like figures in general. Like, I'm just like, oh, what do they, why do they have to do that to Tifa of all characters? Oh my God, we lost. All right, I don't even know the third Pokemon she had. All right, well, shit. That Cacleon was a beast. And she still doesn't know what she is. Okay, we have to win three battles in a row to flex our trainer muscles. Okay. Okay, you know, let's take maybe a bit diverse team, maybe, maybe. I got swept by Cacleon, bro. Um, yeah, my favorite Final Fantasy. Uh, I, I like Seven. I, I think Seven kind of sucks, if I can be honest. I like the characters. I love Seven R. I think Seven R is better than the original. So far, let, let's see how it goes. I think when Seven R finishes, like all the games in like 17 years, it, I might like it a lot. Sex Tifa is already sexualized. Honestly, not really. Like in the in the source material, Tifa isn't like sexualized. Like, like, like maybe a bit in like certain parts, but not like as a character. I, I like Seven remake a lot. I honestly, dude, she had her titties out. I don't think like having titties means you have to be sexualized. You see how that can? That's just what I'm saying. Like they made her have titty, but I don't think that means we have to sexualize her. You know? I don't think they're inherently sexual, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. You can have like a sexy design or something and not be like, it was designed to be sexual. I fuck off. <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think that's how it works. I think you can have a, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's a whack argument either way. But anyways, I think her character herself isn't like sexualized. Whatever. I really like 15 is what I was going to say. Um, I, I really like uh, Final Fantasy 15. Uh, not a lot of people like really act like they do or talk about it, but I, I love 15. I think it's really good. Um, and that seems to be a hot take for whatever reason. Uh, Manga 2's not bad. Uh, that, that Aaron is worse. Fake out a water gun. Okay. I think... I think I want this Aaron. And I think... I think this Zigzagoon is pretty decent, honestly. Dig. Rest. I, I might do this just for... I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I just, I just hope they don't leave with fighting. Yeah, I will say, I didn't play 15 until Royal Edition was out. So I know that there were a lot of issues with it initially, and I did not experience them. Oh wait, didn't I, didn't I want Barboach? Uh, Magnitude and Water Gun. No, I think I'm gonna... Ooh. Water Gun Absorb. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Barboach. Thoughts on 13? Was that a fear errand? Uh, Sturdy doesn't work like that, but like this is almost a fear errand. <laughs> All right, chat, set a timer. Wait, 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 wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Um, let me, uh, window capture, hold up. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go get my food real quick. Uh, DoorDash just delivered it. Uh, take your guesses. Ah, oh, shit. Not that bad at all. <laughs> okay, so he's leading with Magnemite. <sighs> Does Magnemite have Levitate? <sighs> what does Magnemite have? No, no levitate? Okay, then we're digging. Works fine. So, for anyone from the... Oh, do, oh no. Two checks of paralysis? On... That sucks. Okay, so... For those of you from the south... I thought Spark would be fine. I'm, I'm kind of shocked that it did as much as it did. Please use dig. Oh, awesome. That's great. Bye-bye. So, okay, actually, that kind of sucks. Oh, no. Wait, did they? I need to check it. They were... They forgot my drink, guys. No, I forgot my drink. That's, that's so sad. Okay, ball toy. Uh, we aren't. 
Okay, okay, I'm saying what if he does a setup move? What if... That makes sense. Okay, okay. But that Endeavor would have gone crazy if he did a setup move. Um... Okay, it's ball toy. Okay, I guess we use this. Yeah, so, chat, if, again, anyone from the south, you guys know about Whataburger breakfast. Shit slaps. Um, just being able to order, like, a pretty decent fast food breakfast late into the night, it feels so good. We don't have that out here in, in the Los Angeles. It's the biggest thing the city's missing. So, um, I found a substitute. I've had a, I searched pretty long for it. It's definitely not at the same level, but, uh, Jack in the Box does breakfast 24-7. I, I don't think it's, like, as strong, but it's, like, it's close enough. And when I'm craving late night breakfast food, I'll get that. So, um, uh, that, that's, that's been my substitute. W Waffle House? Actually, lot we don't have Waffle House in Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad that they lost my drink, because this food tastes so good, because they always deliver, like, simply orange juice with it. That's all, that's always that slaps. That's so sick. Uh, I'm going magnitude and praying. Uh, I go second, don't I? Yep, that makes sense. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. I've heard okay things about both Water and Jack. I'm not like... For me, it's not about fast food. It's about fast food breakfast. That's like my favorite thing. I just like breakfast food more than anything else. My favorite drinks are like orange juice milk. You know, I just fuck with breakfast at heart. I, I could eat it every, every, oh my God, this dude is not spamming yawn. This shit sucks. They want me to flex my trainer muscles and win three battles in a, in a row. Oh my God, I'm going to sleep. Yawn and door is actually pretty smart. Wait, he did yawn again. Okay. Actually, we might win this anyways. Milk by itself... Milk by itself sucks. I'm a... I'm a, I'm a milk drinker. What can I say? I'm a pretty big fan of it, too. Okay, we have to win three battles in a row. Can I can swap a Pokemon. Oh, wait. No, no, wait. Oh, I just want to look at him. Um. <sighs> Electric definitely won at the end, but I think he's like the. Wait, Magnemite's pretty good. Baltoy. Oh, I get to trade one from them. I just want to wait. No, I just want to look. Okay. What was his? Where was his mons? Barboach isn't great here. I like Aaron. He has Endeavor and he has Dig and Metal something. Like I like that. That's good. That's good gimmick. I'm not, dude. No, no shot. No shot. I'm switching out Aaron. He has Endeavor. Hmm. Big Roth doesn't have like a lot of good damaging moves. I think my head spark, which is special in this game. Yeah. Um. Big Roth had fury swipes, endure, yawn, focus, energy. Yeah, like it's a, it's a gimmicky move set, but it's not like uh, insane. You know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, steel types are pretty. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna replacing electric for magnemite. I think that's fine. We replaced electric for electric, but electric with steel. What she got to say for herself? 
Conversation can wait until I win. All right, shit. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. This is a good matchup for us. Whoa, okay. I don't think any of us saw that one coming, right? That was that was a surprise. That that was a good trick. Watch out for dig. If if they well if they dig, I just swap out. Or dig myself. Wait, do I go first? No, I don't. I should have used dig. I'm plus two, it's quad weak. Now it's only super effective, right? That's how it works. I don't know if I should swap out. If you dig, you die anyways. That's earthquake. Dig doesn't it dig, right? I get hit here. But I'm like, yeah, look at that. Look at that damage. Oh my God. If I had orange juice, that shit would have hit so much harder. I'm like real life sad that they didn't deliver my orange juice. Um, I was going to metal claw. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. No, not my defense. Why are you using Aaron? He's not an effective team member. That's true, but I'm just in the battle tent, you know? So I'm just doing what they say. All right, that... Mighty Anna, how the... Why, why, why do you get Mighty Anna? What the fuck? I'm, I'm dipping. I'm not even ground type. I should be using the metal move. Steel move. Pulp or no pulp orange juice? I feel like there's like a strong correlation between pulp and like sociopaths. I'd love to see that study though. It's just a just a hunch for me though. Oh no, not sand attack. I think we're doing a pretty good job here though. Okay, and he's using poison fang, that's great. God, we are about to flex our trainer muscles, huh? Mm. I feel like there's no middle ground on pulp. I don't think anyone thinks it's like, okay. Hmm. Perfect. Fake tears. Isn't that special attack or special defense? Okay, that's a little scary, but Plusle might just die here. Have you considered that? And use quick attack! And use a quick attack! Okay. Honestly, Plusle can use quick attack all they want. I kind of got the feeling that they don't have an electric move. All right, then. Wait, what? What? Why, why'd my web game die? What the fuck? Hold up, I gotta fix something now. How slash why did that happen? Oh, the... What? So the battery just it just it just wasn't plugged in. That's it. 
Now we're all good. Actually, no, we aren't. Oh, wait, the substitute took... Oh, yeah, substitute? What the... Okay, well, I'm going to press dig real quick, and I'm going to run inside and get another camera battery. chat i'll be honest what the hell just happened <laughs> what what did they hit me with what chat i'll be honest i, I just can't find the battery so uh we don't have a webcam for the rest of the day wait it does have an electric move why we'll bring that down then all right. All right, no webcam. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. So now my camera's, like, plugged in. This won't happen again. Oops. Who did they have? They have Mighty Anna, which has Intimidate, which is really good. Um... Why would a webcam have a battery and not just plug in a USB? Well, because it's like a big, nice camera. So, like, it is plugged into USB. But it's like, you still need to power the nice, big DSLR camera. It's not just like a webcam. So, it's, uh, you have a battery in it, and you're charging it. But, you can put, like, a fake battery in it. Anyways, anyways long story short, whatever. <laughs> I think I like my team. I think I like my team. All right. This is going to make our last make this is going to make for our last one, maybe. Okay, what's well, just bug? Well, we we don't really have anything for it, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna build a little bit. Is that attack? That's attack, right? Yeah. Oh, hearth. That kind of sucks. Okay, so minus two attack, plus two defense. That does suck. Okay, the encore is fine by me. <laughs> this is a slow battle, but that's okay. But actually, minus four might make it not worth it. Wait, this AI is actually awful. 
It looks... Yeah, all she has is tackle. Oh my fucking god, I was wrong. Got it. So I'm not killing her. Um, yeah, I think I just do supersonic thunder wave spark. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta kill her, kill her. This is disgusting. Yeah, hold up. Um. <laughs> just like old times. Does everything feel a bit more normal now? How's that? <laughs> Do you feel better? You feel safer now? <laughs> Jacob has some really poor type coverage. It's the battle tent. What do you want from me? I do what I can. Oh, but not tackle. Oh no. I may have three Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have good type coverage. No shot. No shot. Okay, well, we do it again then. Bitch. A crit. All right, so supersonic now. And it misses. Of course it does. It's moonlighting at full health. Okay. Now if it has to go through paralysis and supersonic, I feel good. Because it hits itself in confusion, for sure. Of course it does. Of course. What is mental sound? Is that defense? Special defense? What is it? Probably physical, which is irrelevant to me. That's awesome. Dude, this Illumis is so satanic in nature. Okay, at least it used Uncore on the move that deals damage. I was a little worried. Smell Sound is two, minus two special defense. Got it, got it. Good to know. Uh, water type. Uh, that's like the same. <laughs> Why? What does that protect do? It, yeah, it just now now my encore is ended. Honestly, I could thunder. Yeah, I'm gonna thunder wave it. Oh no, it's using gust, guys. <laughs> oh, no. I I was gonna set up on it, but I think I can just press the A button and win. Unless this Dust Talks also has Moonlight, which is honestly possible. Whoa, insane Protect. I wonder what it does next. What if it's Protect? It might, it, honestly, that was Protect. It was trying to double Protect on me. That's the only move that would have moved before me. It was trying to double Protect. Oh my God. This is such an evil team. All right, it, and it has moonlight. Of course it does. But let's flex our trainer muscles and try and win three in a row. This is what we have to go through to win three in a row. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Volbeat on... <laughs> What was this bug gimmick? All right, Thunder Wave. Confuse Ray. Ugh, gross. This is such a taste of patience. Okay, quick attack. I should, I probably should have swapped out. Yeah, if I had a fire type, oh, that would be getting mileage. Oh, yeah, I should have swapped out for the confusion just to be extra safe. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that now. We have, we have a full team, actually. So this is gonna be fine. Oh no, he's double teaming. Oh god. All of these battles, I can confidently say, have been awful. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, why wouldn't he just confuse Ray again, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, honestly, I just have to fight through the confusions. Magnitude 10, though. 9? I'll take it. Okay, we're just going to use Water Gun. We're just going to use Water Gun right now. All right. We're just going to use Water Gun again. We're just going to use Water again. Water Gun. We're just going to use Water Gun. And it's going to hit. Oh my god. Wait. Does Vol... That, that, that does nothing. Does Volbeat... Does Volbeat... <laughs> Does Volbeat have Moonlight? Oh wow, a critical hit. Wahoo. Yippee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This sucks. Genuinely, this sucks. I don't know why they made this mode and thought people were going to have fun with it. Oh my god. This is a loss, chat. I don't think it's a loss. I just think it's very slow and painful. Like, we are winning this. It would be very hard for us to not win this. It just sucks. I'm going to use the rest of Magnemite I have. He's probably using Confuse Ray. But if I can get one Thunder Wave in... That's going to paralyze him for the rest of the game. Oh my god, and he used Quick Attack. That's awesome. Now he's going to be slower than me. And I might be able to use um, a Supersonic. That'd be awesome if I can't... Oh! Wait, he's still faster than me? What the fuck? Oh my god, I miss. Why can I not hit him? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's probably using Protect then? Or Quick Attack? Yeah, he's using Quick Attack. Duh, he just, just used Quick Attack. Oh my god, he passed the confusion, but he's still paralyzed. And I missed. That that sucks. What if he hit himself? Okay. Don't use quick attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, you're paralyzed though. You're paralyzed though. No, you're not. Alright, you know what? He's still paralyzed, even if he's not confused anymore. So he. <sighs> He can use Quick Attack against Aaron if he wants to, who is four times weak to it. We're just gonna Metal Claw. And he, he dies here. <laughs> that Volbeat popped off. Oh my God. But look at that. Our trainer muscles have been successfully flexed and we got through the battle. Oh, congratulations. You won three straight matches. I will return to your... <sighs> That guy is definitely like, oh, wow. Do, do, do you have a lot of fun in there? And I'm like, no. And we got a full heal. Awesome. Well, that was a great use of time. Three and a half hours in. And we uh, barely have our second gym badge. So playing Pokemon, how Game Freak intended with no speed ups is very slow. It takes a long time. But God damn it, we're going to beat the game, aren't we? So, uh, believe it or not, I think I'm checking out on that one. I, uh, I think mainly because of the camera issue, right? So, uh, I'll probably stream. I, you know how I, if you've watched Alpha Rat stream, you probably know how this thing goes by now. Um, whenever I start streaming something new, like let's say Twitch plays Pokemon, Sonic Boom, uh, World of Light Nuzlocke, I'm pretty consistent at like, I'm going to play it. Like, I play it, I play it, I play it, I play it. 
until I beat it, and then I don't stream for two weeks until I have a new idea. So I'll probably be on stream tomorrow. I'll just continue doing it on Switch since I'm this far in. So, um, mm, wait, I forgot I'm on Twitch. I can raid people now. Who we who are we gonna raid? Um. Oh yeah. Uh. We're gonna raid Adriana because she is streaming and singing. So we're just gonna go over in her chat and just say we're not gonna say anything. Actually, we're just gonna say. Actually, let's say nothing. Our raid message is nothing. Nobody say anything, okay? We are not going to say a single thing in her chat. We are going to be completely silent and just let the numbers go up and then be very weird about it. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.